All right. Welcome to Black Lodge Trivia Night. We're going to do something dumb today. Um, family's out of town. I have the place to myself. I could do anything. I could be knocking on doors, registering people to vote. I could be walking for the cure, but instead I'm here and I'm going to do a very important thing, which is indulge myself in a comfort food run of Dark Souls to see how far I can get in one sitting. I'm curious if I can beat the game in one long day. Um, there's something I have to do this evening. <laughs> That's the kind of time frame I'm thinking of. And I'm just curious, like, can I actually beat it before then? Um... So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to delete one of these guys, because I guess I'm out of slots. And we're going to create a new character. Assuming it'll let me. I don't want to load. I want a new game. All right. So we're going to just name myself the Classics. I'll just play Class. I'm going to do a Wanderer. They start with a Dex 14, Intelligence 11. And you're thinking, oh, okay, so he's going to do a dex intelligence build. No. Um, again, this is my stupid way of doing things. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this a shot. How are my levels? I think my levels should be okay. But if they're not, if anybody's watching, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Uh, the Wanderer armor set is the armor set I always go for. So I'm just going to take that to start. Uh, Scimitar is not a bad weapon. I'm going to do uh, basically a strength dex run. Um, but I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of a wimp about one area of the game, which is the, uh, the, the tombs. And so I get my intelligence up to 14 to be able to cast light. Uh, because I'm not good enough to one-hand it with a lantern. For my gift, I'm going to take the master key. There's a part of me that really likes the idea of taking the old witch's ring, being a thief, so I can talk to the person underneath uh, Quelag. But um, since I'm not doing a thief, I'll just sort of, do I go with my classic build in real life? I'm not actually that heavy, but I'll just go average, face, perfect, hair. <laughs> do I go with my real, no, kidding. Let's go with shaved, um, just because it doesn't matter. Hair color, I guess I have lightish brown hair. I don't know. Hasn't gotten too gray yet. I'm lucky in that sense. So we're going to start the game with this character and here we go. I'm not going to do like an official timer, but I will count deaths. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of gray crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Love that music. Oh, 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 oh. Music cue. It's great. Gwyn's mighty lords peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease.
Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. All right, there we go. I, I let that play out because I'm always like, oh my God, there's so much, you know, hidden sort of from the player in terms of a soul story. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. And it's just a reminder of like, oh yeah, no, they tell you a lot of little little it's details. They right. give you info that does explain certain things more than you realize. Also, the other thing that I've never really contemplated too strongly because it's just the opening cinematic is that the opening cinematic <laughs> is not explaining to you I mean, it is explaining to you, you know, the story so far, but it's biased. And um, I don't think I ever appreciated. I'm curious how this guy gets from here to where he ends up. So somehow he must get caught trying to do this for us. But um, yeah, but it's 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 the opening cutscenes from a point of view like it. It clearly favors one ending over the other in this game. Whoops, I'm not gonna two-hand it. I'm gonna pillage corpse, dungeon cell key. So, you know, that's something again that I, you know, don't really pay attention to, but then when you think about it, you're like, oh yeah. Um, took me forever to realize that you can actually see this guy. I never put it together that I was looking at the second one of those, the first couple times I played. Again, I'm not terrible at this game, but I'm not good. And this is not like a hit the timer every time I beat a boss speed run. This is just, if I'm taking my time, not taking my time, if I'm motivated to just do a run and beat the game, how far do I get before I have to shut it off to take care of real life? But God damn it. I've done the, I put in the work and I'm ready to sit in this office chair for as long as I can and as long as it takes. So, um, another thing, if you can, there's, you know, there's a giant demon up there that just jumped down. If you can beat him with no weapon, you get a really good like giant hammer, demon hammer or something. I forget what it's called. What am I doing? Here we go. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring, so now I'm just sort of relearning this interface, so bear with me a little bit. And equip. I want to put it here. Okay. And this is part of the reason why I want to... Why am I not carrying anything? Part of the reason why I wanted to do a comfort food run of this, because... While the videos are not up yet on the YouTube, YouTube archive channel of Black Lodge Trivia Night, like and subscribe, etc., etc., if you want, I have beaten. Was I supposed to pick up a weapon back there? This feels like I should have. Let me run back there and see. Uh, I have beaten Shadows of the Earth Tree. 
Um, I have done everything I set out to do in, ah, maybe not, in the DLC. Which means I could go around finding things to collect in the base game as well. And the DLC, you know, I'm sure I didn't get every spell, weapon, medallion. Do I have to do this? Ah, time that perfectly. So you can see what you're getting yourself into. Did I forget a weapon? Did I roll that the wrong time? I feel like I was supposed to collect a weapon by now. I'm not seeing anything, so maybe I'm not. That's how out of practice I am in this game. I feel like I'm supposed to get a scimitar at some point. But yeah, so Elden Ring DLC main game. I've beaten all of it. Um, and while it can be fun to run around and collect the stuff because you get to do exploring, all that really entails on some level is Yeah, I should have had a weapon by now. Because you don't take on this guy without a weapon. Saddest fight in the world. Two guys with nothing to lose, giving each other back rubs to death. Wow. <laughs> okay. So now, where the hell is my weapon? I thought you picked it all up in here. You got your shield and your weapon. This run already sucks. Cause I'm not <laughs> I'm not fighting that thing. No, oh, I already have it. <laughs> Again, so that's the quality you're looking at with this run. How far can somebody as stupid as I uh, can get in one sitting? All right. So 
It's a little better. Got five Estus. Uh, yeah. Okay, to start. Let's see. Is this uh, this gate might be locked? Yeah. We'll have to come back someday. And... All right, here we go. First boss. until he or she tells you to stop. Yeah, if you, you get that hammer that that thing wields, if you can beat it quick enough. But you can still hear the other one below. And again, it took me forever to put that together. If you're wondering, wondering where the crows are to exchange equipment. A little over there. I don't know if you can do it yet. My big ass iced tea and some waters. Oh, so as my voice goes, I can legends, try and mitigate that. Stated. But one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. To the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. And once we get down here, we're going to start doing some prep bullshit. I have a master key, so I'm going to run around a little bit, collect some stuff, probably rack up a few deaths in terms of runs to uh, grab some equipment, etc. Yeah, the Wanderer armor is the armor set I would go with no matter what class I ended up with I feel like it's good if you level it up uh, nope if you um, start pumping points into strength it's it's good if you uh, reinforce it for being light and sort of covering all your bases. Now, I don't know. I've never actually run the numbers. A lot of the information I have about this game comes from a good friend of mine who absolutely loved this game and knew it inside and out. And this was one of the armor sets he tended to go with, and I trusted his opinion. Did we exhaust his... No. I don't actually care what he says. I'm just... Making sure I exhaust in case it matters. Okay, so I think we're done. Okay, so here's, here's what we're going to start doing. We're going to start grabbing stuff. Got 116 souls, so it's not like I have all that many. I'll talk to this guy just in case it matters. Hello, I am if not... 
Hello, I realize, but I am here. No. Um, oh, I have to. So what would that? Sure. I think in almost every case you want to say yes. There's one where you might want to say no. I'll say yes to this as well. For now. Okay. So I think I basically done what I need to do here. So let's start collecting items in this area to help us get started. Now, I think we're about to come up to our first death. I'm going to add homeward bones to my list here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of, if I can remember where the exit is, I'm going to just sort of jump down here into the graveyard. There's a bunch of equipment you can pick up. I'm just going to keep grabbing stuff till I die, and then I'm just going to abandon these 116 souls. Because there is some good equipment here, if I can live long enough to grab it. And there's one thing in particular that I'm hoping to get. It's not the winged spear, it's the other one. The Zweihander. I think there's like actually an okay shield here, but I don't care about that. But I'll just see if I can grab it. Maybe this is it. Even if it's just like a large soul to get more. Okay, there we go. First death. You ready for this? There we go. How's that for production value? I don't know if you could hear it. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, Tiaiholo? 18? I, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I apologize. I should jump into the chat. Uh, okay, so that's the first death. Uh, next, where do I want to go? I think I'm going to start progressing toward... Um, I'm going to start going toward Undead Berg or whatever as normal before. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I can go... And go this way. And pick up some more equipment. There's our shrine keeper. We're going to head down here. Because again, we took the master key as our gift. So. We have a good starting sword that I can't quite wield yet. Let's see what else we can grab before we really get started. Again, I'm forgetting how to do a lot of this, so I apologize. This might be our second death coming up. couple things over here. I think there's three items. There's only one that I really care about. There is a good faith straight sword. But there's also a good shield. That's what I'm really after. The store straight straight sword is nice. I don't know what this third thing is. I never live long enough to get it. There we go. Second death. Uh, so we got that. 
can I wield that? Because it is, I think, a 100% physical reduction. And really good at fire, which is a big thing in this game. So can I still fast roll? Not quite. So when you can't fast roll, that means you got to start taking off clothes. Because that's just how it works, right? There we go. You keep taking off clothes until you can fast roll again. So let's see. We've got the shield. We've got the Zweihander. Um, I'm going to start making my way to Firelink Shrine so that we can start opening our way up to like the Dark Root Garden area to see if we will get lucky with Black Knight Halberd. If we don't, that's okay. There's probably a way to get there that I'm forgetting, but this way we can start building up a couple of levels anyway. Getting that shield saves us from having to buy a heater shield for 100% block damage, because again, I'm not good enough to dodge my way through everything. I always think there's something back there. I don't think there is. Uh, before I do that... Right, I think that's a dead end, so let's go back this way. Oh, guess I failed to manage my stamina. It should have been T-Holo. I'm sorry when you jumped in the chat. Hopefully everything's going well. All right, now we'll move on.
Wooden shield might be also a good starting shield for this area, but... Dragon Crest is better if you can get it. Alright. Um, hmm, let's see. We need to buy a bunch of stuff from... You kick. Classic. All right, let's uh, head back up. Hopefully, double tapping B jumps. <laughs> Crossbow, uh, crossbow, crossbow is a good thing to have to uh, kite enemies if you don't have something else to do the trick. All right, so let's see about. How many souls can we get? Because we're going to go shopping for a little bit of stuff. It's not bad. That should definitely get us the key. Um, but does it get us everything else we need before we don't need this merchant anymore? Okay, purchase. We need a lot of stuff here that could be useful, but let's start with the key. Residence key. That's a grand. Uh, repairing. Let's grab that. Uh, did I not get this? Okay. Uh, we don't need any of this. The heater shield is a, it's a thousand souls, but we don't need to get that. We don't need any of this. Do we need any of this? The orange guidance site soapstone just to have it. Okay, so what are we at? We're at 1600 and we still need to get the repair box. So we need 1400 more souls. Thank you, Kai. Probably get the repair box elsewhere, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's just play it safe. And uh, keep going.
right, nice. We'll take that. Uh, let's see. Let's keep making our way through the level. Do I have the stats for the battle axe? Let's take a look, because that's a pretty good weapon. Okay, stats for the battle axe are 12 and 8. I do have that. Let's move over to that. Okay, that's how you... Okay. Five fire. Okay. That's why, like, you know, I'm fat rolling, which, you know what that means. Time to get a little bit more unequipped. Can I? Still fat rolling. You know what that means. It's all coming off, baby. There we go. We're back. Yeah, you know, sometimes you can take, as a thief, you can take, you get the master key for free. And then you can uh, take some black bombs and, you know, have them for rainy day. Or if you want to use them to beat the initial demon in the starter level and uh, without having to run away the first time. Because then that's how you get a, a good giant hammer right off the bat. But for most people, that's something you get in a new game plus. Because then you can just wreck shop immediately. All right. That's why we wanted to buy the residence key right away. Okay, so we needed 3,000 souls. Whoops. Now, there's a couple things we can do. This is a bit of a risk, but it can get us some equipment that could help us put some clothes back on. Hovel's down here, and you can't really fight him fairly, but he's slow. So if you can just basically spend an hour and a half backstabbing him, you'll knock him down. You just, you cannot get hit. So you just sort of have to, because he's... Like, there you go. You can't get hit. That's got some tracking to it. Yep, <laughs> I knew as soon as that happened. Uh, but yeah, so if you can kill him, you can get Havel's ring. So the two rings I tend to use early in the game are Havel's ring and... Um... Fat bring the something in protection. There's another thing you can do. Uh, am I going the wrong way? I am. You might get lucky. I'm only doing this one for the souls and two because I don't know if they're going to come up behind me as I'm running around. I think I can ignore them now. And 
Now, if you engage those guys on the stairs, this guy will take shots at you from behind, so I'll get rid of him. Whoops. <laughs> Did it again. Alright. Nope. What do you think? Should I go for it? Let's see how this goes. It's Black Knight guarding... The ring doesn't matter. The chance to get his weapon does. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag him out top side so I have a little bit more. Again, not that I can do a ton of damage to this guy, but if I can backstab him over and over and over, then you got a shot. Oops, I guess this is going to... See, 19 points of damage. Not sure why I didn't backstab there. With backstab, you get a whopping 80. All right, I'm going to pull back just because I don't want to deal with the artillery. Uh, is he coming? Yeah, okay. And so there's two Black Knights early in the game you can go for. One is him. He's the least, less interesting one. The other one has a Black Knight Halberd. And what you want to do is, you know, speedrunners do this all the time. Oh crap, this is going to be bad. You know, you get your humanity up to four. Nope, son of a whore. Am I dead? Not yet. Just give me a minute, and I'm sure I'll, I can get there. <laughs> Trying to create some separation, see if one guy can get down here first. Didn't seem to work. There we go. Uh, the let's go beat the game yet. Is this PS5 or PC? This is always going to be PC. I can stream, obviously because I've done Demon Souls, I can do PlayStation 5 streaming here on Twitch, but it's just a little bit easier to set it up on PC. But yeah, how's it going, Matt? Thanks for jumping in. Graphics look great. Yeah, yeah, you know, the Enhanced Edition... They did a nice job with it. Ooh. Nope. How are we doing? Is this it? Black Knight Sword. Nice. That's at least, if nothing else, that's a good weapon. That I'll, what's the stats on that, though? Uh, Black Knight Sword. The stats are 2018. So I'm not crazy far away from it. Uh, I've got a 14 dex. Um, 14 dex and... So is there any point to what I'm about to do? 14 dex and I think like 13, 14 strength. So if I get to 18, 16, then I can start wielding that thing. Assuming I can actually carry it, which again is part of why I'm running down here to get my ass handed to me by hobble. Okay, so at least, if nothing else. Yeah, when he does that, just back up a little bit. Let's see what I get on the backstabs. 36. It's not great. <laughs> Hopefully everything's going okay with you, Matt. Hopefully the uh, prep's going okay.
wondering if I should just two hand this and because if I get hit, I'm dead, right? So, <laughs> case in point. So, like, is there any point to even having the shield up? You know the answer. All right. Uh, if you want to marathon this in one run, you know the answer. Unga bunga. I know. I know. Well, I'm not quite there yet. So the the weapons I'm working toward are either I've got this Vihander. Um. Nope. Which could be the start of an Ungabunga. Um, Black Knight Halberd. I don't know if that counts as an Ungabunga, but it's... I don't know. I don't... Is the Great Club down in the swamp? I think I'm gonna die here, and that's gonna save me from having to worry about those souls. No, oh, maybe not. I guess you can start with the regular club as the depraved. So you can open up with it, I guess, the Ungabunga if you want. All right, let's um, let's pause that for now. Although getting those souls could just get me everything I need. Get hovel set, never roll again. Just, <laughs> just face check everything. <laughs> yeah, the, now hovel set though. That's pretty late game, right? Is that all the way in Anor Orlando? But there are other heavy sets you can get. Like there's one in the. Uh, where you get the Forest Covenant. I don't know how many things you have to beat to get there. I think you can get there relatively early-ish. So what I'm gonna do is, let me see if I can get those souls and get out. Uh, Homeward Bone, right? That's what it's here for. Okay, there we go. That's at least going to give us some souls that we need to get back here so that we can go back to the merchant. Again, this is a little bit of just prep. Start the start the run. So what armor, what class, I don't know, Matt, if you're, what class do you start with? knowing you're probably going to go Ungabunga. Do you have, like, a starting class you always go with? Okay. Doesn't recall. Okay, so we're going to get the... repair box, and then just make sure... Did I just get invaded by a Gravelord servant? How do I do that? I'm not even... Is there anything else that we need here? I don't think so. We're good on weapons. Reinforced club. That's the Ungabunga we can... But what I'm going to do now... Oh, the, okay. Then go Fallock of Cliff. Then fuck you. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's interesting that he calls out for Yulia. Well, you did tell me to go fuck off and fall off a cliff. Probably whatever starts with the strength. Yeah, I guess that's like maybe a knight. Uchigatana. What are the stats on that? Uh, Uchi. The Zweihander is 2410, so I've got the 10. What about the Uchi? 1414. 14. All right, let's start. Again, it's uh, we're short on strength, so let's go point pump some points into strength. Everything, whoops, everything is strength. We want to get strength up, is because if we get lucky and get the Black Knight halberd, strength, stamina, and yeah, that's all you have to worry about. Um, 
Huh. Now, if I were a better player... Uh, 2018. I know that, but what if I... Am I still... Yep, okay. Yep, insufficient strength, but... Nope. <laughs> what if I do? Nope. Let's see fa how far I can get. <laughs> With no shield. Can I fast roll? No. So let's... An equip. Fresh DS3 run, tempting, haha, <laughs> yeah. You do have a couple of runs going. Oh, that's what the problem is. There's <laughs> okay, so I don't like it not having a shield. Um, no, 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 I need to play Demon Souls. You do need to play Demon Souls. Or Armored Core. Yeah. But as, like, your pusher for Souls games... I would push Demon Souls. Because we can't do our top five Souls games that aren't D&D until you play Demon Souls. I don't know what else you need to play to take care of that one, but... Armored Core does interest me a little bit, but um, I don't have a lot of luck. Like, I really bounced off Sekiro because I suck ass, and... Um, Perfect. <laughs> um, and I bounced out, you know, Bloodborne I love a lot of, but if it's not like like a true souls, like I I don't always love the games. So I'm hesitant about armored core. I definitely have it on like my wish list kind of stuff, but Alright. Um Already did this. Can I... I assume I can fast roll. Let me see if I can put some clothes back on and still fast roll. Gloves. Let me see if I can get away with this and still fast roll. No. Okay. Next thing. Let's, um... Put some black fire bombs here. Too long in the wind up. Did I have a package? All right. Here we are. Uh, Transformed. So, have you played Armored Car at all? Have you ever played any of the early ones, Matt? I know. I think you were like a PlayStation guy, right? Going back a little bit. How many deaths do I have? I have five. That's a little embarrassing, but I guess I'm sort of messing around doing stuff a bit more than... What I've come to realize... The one thing with uh, Get Good Art... Yeah, no, I... <laughs> Never. They can make me get good when they pry it from my to cold, dead hands. Um... I do better when my sword is a little fast. That's one of the troubles I have. But I guess if you're wearing Havel's armor, you don't have to worry about <laughs> anything that's happening around you. 
Oh, if you don't respond, you're an outsider. Yeah, good luck with all that stuff. More fire bombs, not bad. Let's um let's do this proper. Take care of this guy. This way I can jam him up on the staircase, do a little bit more one at a time. Yeah, the last Demon Souls run I did, which is on this channel. I ended up landing on, like, a bleed dex weapon, and I was like, oh, man, I don't think I've ever really done this before, and I like it. Okay, lost power, nice. I'm gonna hold off on Havel now, because I don't really need it yet. Favor and protection, that's what the fap ring is. Got the F. All right, so let's uh, let's make our way up here. And let's make our way right here. Did I get it? Nice. What do you think? I don't think you can fast... Can you fast climb up? I know you can fast slide down. I wasn't sure if that was a quality of life they added to this from... Later Souls? Not getting the backstab window yet here. I gotta figure that out. I mean, not really, but... It'd be nice. Um... Okay. Let's uh, get this started. Uh, let's get black fire bombs ready to go. There we go. But yeah, I'm I'm all for Matt doing a DS3 run, but um so I enjoy it. he's good at these games. So I want but I want to see him beat it. Um Did I get it? Nice. No? No? Risky, getting greedy. Alright, so I'm out of those. Oh well, I guess I was nutmegging the uh, boss there a little bit with the firebombs instead of hitting him. Talk to Sunbro. Again, you almost always want to say yes, except for, I think, the pyromancer back in camp. I think there's a question he asked you at one point where you're, it's better to say no. Okay, I think that might be the end of his dialogue. Okay. Let me just check something really quickly. I thought it said I had a package. Give me one sec. It would take me two seconds.
I did have a package. And yeah, it's actually some Black Lodge Trivia Night stuff. And that's why I didn't want to leave it on the front porch because one is an SE8 uh, pencil cardioid small diaphragm condenser microphone because two Bookhouse Boys I've done recently sounded like shit. So I'm going to give these a shot and I'm very excited to try because again, part of this is, you know, it's not just a hobby. This is stuff I went to school for, production, stuff like that. So I really find this stuff fascinating. So going to try that out if I get to do another Bookhouse Boys. Uh, this is a Rode, I guess a DS2. It's a mic stand. They do really nice jobs with their uh, desktop mic stand. This thing weighs a ton. You can put SM7Bs on it. You can put cameras on it. I use one downstairs at the moment for a camera, and then I have some ideas of what to do with this one. Uh, and then, yeah, this is just like a general dust mount camera stand um, that I found to be really, this is a, I forget what it's called. Tarion is the brand, but it's got these interesting locks that do a great job to keep it from slipping. So um, I wanted to grab another one of those. Just so, again, part of this is for Black Lives Every Night. Part of this is maybe to stream some board game stuff. But yeah, after the hoof, uh, I'm thinking of that camera stand to see if it would work for a boom for that SE8. Um, so, anyway, that's sort of exciting uh, because I think I can use the SE8. All right, let's kick the ladder here. Uh, this is one of the moments I realized how genius this game this game is going to be when you kick the ladder and you suddenly found yourself back here and I was like oh it just yeah uh, let's level up uh, we want to put points into we need a dex of 18 but we're still going strength again strength 32 Dex of 18 is the Halberd, uh, Black Knight Halberd. Um, well, let's keep going. Anyway, yeah, I didn't want to leave that stuff on the front porch all day. Uh, okay, let's do this properly. So... One of the best weapons in the game is right there on the bridge. I don't know how to consistently bait that dragon in order to get it. If I knew how, what the, and I probably could just Google it, but if I knew how to bait that dragon into, uh, jumping down then you can if you don't want to fight it you can just run underneath it if you want to fight it you can I'm really bad at it but if you run past it it takes off and it's out of the game I think sort of uh, get you into a bonfire it opens up shortcuts it lets you get the claymore which is a great one-handed weapon because you can't open this gate from this side but you have to eventually get there because um that's how you join the sun bro. And you want to do that. If you're playing this for real, you want to do that before you get to Ornstein and Smau. Because what you can do is you can join that covenant. Okay. Got a lot going on here. But we're going to cheese it. Got to beat this guy to the gate. Grab the basement key. He's going to close the gate. I'm going to die because I'm running out of stamina and not paying attention. There's another good weapon right here, right above me, the halberd. Oh, 
And then what you do is you just open the gate. And now once you open the gate from this side, it cannot be locked. So now you can go back and work your way through. At your own pace. Yeah, I think, is it right up here? This is the halberd. Good weapon. Um, it's a little slower. I think I've got the stats for it, to be honest with you. 16, 12. Yeah, it does one. So it does a little more damage than what I'm dealing with now. So that's good. Now, these guys, I think one of these guys can drop one of the best dex weapons in the game, but the chances of them doing it are very low. It's called the Balder Side Sword. If you get lucky and get it, I don't know, it might be the guy with the round shield. Maybe the big shields are just. But this round shield guy, maybe he has the Balder Side Sword. And if you get the drop, like I said, it's one of the best dex weapons in the game. My friend who I mentioned I get a lot of my information from him would actually just farm it. Every time he started a new character, because he'd be doing jolly co-op to help people out. So he would just put his sign down. And um, yeah, just farm until he got one. There are a couple spots you can farm one. One's here and one's in Sen's Fortress. But you know, if you get it here, you got it early. And that was his goal. I'm not sure why I'm not... Alright. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Again, we're doing everything in like weird loops. I'm going to open up this shortcut before we go any further. So now we're back to... Firelink Shrine. Uh, do we want to be back to Firelink Shrine? Of course, remember, make sure you pay attention when you're going up elevators, because you can drop off there. And that can take you back to important places. Oops. <laughs> can we even get out of the elevator? Got some reach on it. That's one nice thing. Punish him for trying to pull that off. Nice. Okay. Gonna get our first uh, Firekeeper Soul. It's gonna buff up our Estus. We're going to go this way. Because believe it or not, we're still sort of, I know we've taken down a boss, but we're still sort of prepping. first blacksmith, although we're not going to really need to talk to him yet. Again, let's keep pumping points into strength and dex. Ooh, we need dex at 16, I think. 18. You know, in that case, let's keep doing strength. Sends fortress, if you want, you can properly, you don't have to do this to properly start this quest line, but since we're here, let's, uh, ooh, fat rolling. Oh yeah, I guess the halberd would be heavier. Let's go back to the Uchi. 
Am I still fat rolling with Uchi? No. It took me a long time to realize he was actually here to start the thing, but yeah, he can't get. Usually, I would find him at his second point, and that was still that was fine. Okay. Oop. So we've got three humanity. I might pop one more when we go for... That's what I used to see the speedrunners do. They would pop four humanity to boost their item drop rate. And then hope for the best. And then in, back in the old days... Actually, I haven't really watched speedruns of Dark Souls in a while. I don't know if they still do anything with them. Um most weapons are not for every human in our zone. There are two tight wing as put it and stuff that you Yeah, just going through. Um But it used to be like if you didn't get the blacks if you didn't get the Black Knight Halberd drop, you split. You called the run, started over. Gonna blow past this demon. Tight Knight Demon. Make our way out here. If you're wondering if you're wondering wonder, if you're wondering what makes Dark Souls so replayable compared to the other ones, it's this. It's the world design. Wow, this weapon sucks. This might kill me. Did I take the bonfire on my way down? I thought I did. This weapon, yeah, this is not a good weapon for these creatures. Um, I did, thank goodness. Okay, let's switch out that weapon to something else, because holy cow. Uh, let's go back to the battle axe for now. Probably with patience you could beat this thing at this point. Wow, this isn't doing much better. <laughs> So what you're trying to do is you're trying to get to the Darkwood Garden, but then you're trying to cut back. And if you cut back this way, you start getting onto these paths. If you get onto these paths, you're gonna get a You're gonna encounter another black knight. You can get some armor that's pretty good, light armor that's pretty good, and you can get um another good shield. Um crap, can I get to that thing before it runs away? Uh, let's pop that humanity. Now, I don't know why they picked four for the speed runs. I don't know if it's just because that's the amount they could get early and it was good enough or if there's a reason to go to five or ten like or is it like a soft cap kind of thing like some of the stats
Yeah, all of a sudden you're running around and this guy shows up. Basically, you need a little bit of space to circle strafe this guy. So I come back here and hope for the best. Again, you don't want to get hit. <laughs> I would get a backstab there. Once you get over the shitting your pants fear of facing these guys, they're really not terrible. But they are intimidating. Didn't get it. Okay. So again, speedrunners would kill the run back in the old days. I don't see any need to do that. There is a bonfire in here. There's all sorts of passages you can take. And this will take us back into the general area of where we got the Dragon Crest Shield. Not exactly, but you can get there from here. But at least, if nothing else, we get this shield. The Grass Crest Shield doesn't do 100% protection of damage, but it does boost stamina recovery. So some people just wear that on their back and two-hand a weapon. You can cut over that way. There's um an armor set up here. Okay, so since I did not get the... There we go. Since I didn't get the Black Knight Halberd, that means... It's not like we have, like, the obvious choice of a weapon. Leather and the bow and arrows there. That's what's kind of good about that. So there's something sort of liberating about not getting it. So now we're free to do whatever we want to do. i run back up here. And again, because we got the master key, we can uh, find all sorts of shortcuts. This is going to look very familiar in about two seconds. Where is he? <laughs> Gotta have eyeballs on uh, Havel. Yeah, the one-handed attacks are a lot more predictable. Two-handed has some tracking to it, so you gotta be careful. I made a dent, it's okay, roughly halfway maybe. You can see, I mean, this guy, this is what um, Matt was saying. You get Havel's armor, his armor set here. 
and you can just walk through the game. Doesn't even matter. Now in later games, they made it advantageous to sort of roll towards your attacker. I don't know if that's ever the case here in Dark Souls. Or if that's something I had to learn like with later games. I don't know if it's even just Elden Ring. Dark Souls 3 maybe? There we go. Nice. Avil's ring. First ring that's, uh... I mean, you can wear that. It's worth wearing that for, like, most of the game. Uh, let's see if we can... Yep, still fast roll with armor. Let's see if we can put a hat on. Yep, okay. Can we do it with a halberd? Like, that's the kind of difference it makes. It's, um... Yep, there we go. Undead Berg. Um, might be faster to cross the bridge. Might not be, I don't know. Where are we at? We're at an hour and a half. One boss down. We're sort of... Well on our way to taking on the second boss if we want. Didn't get the Black Knight Halberd. Do have to go back to Firelink Shrine. Can't open that yet. Oh, no, I did get the basement key. Okay. Does this let you do lower undead burg? Is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to run up here. this up. Okay, so there's the Gravelord sign. So, I don't know if it messes us up until we actually take care of that, but, um... Uh, let's rest. Let's level up again. We need a dex. Okay, since we don't need Black Knight Halberd, let's get this up to 16. And I'm not sure if we... Let, let's see what the stats are for the Black Knight Sword. The Uchi, we obviously definitely got. Those Zweihander were close. The Black Knight Sword is 20, ooh, 18, so we're still not quite there. Zweihander is 24, we're still not quite there. Okay. Uh, can I not level up more?
Let's see if I can get one more level out of that. <laughs> now, the reason why I did that is because I think that means we can now... Spy hander it. Can we fast roll? No. Even with Havel's sword. So let's start taking off some clothes. Nope. Now we're back. All right. Now there's, uh, see, this is the thing. I don't know how to get him to jump down. Eventually he might, if you sort of goad him enough. But you, oh, there we go. That's not it though, because he's just gonna immediately return to his perch before you can actually do anything. So you think you can make it, you can't. Oops. Huh. The trick with his flame attacks is they stagger you so that once you get hit, you stand there. You think you're, okay, I took the hit already, but then you keep burning eventually. And again, I don't know if, if it's just hit him with ranged weapons. But eventually, you just get tired of waiting. All right, so now what we can do is we can... Um, never really... There we go. Ah, uh, that was embarrassing. All right, let's make our way up. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited to uh, give that SE8 mic a, a shot. They have all these, like, you know, you, you start looking at reviews and... Um, I know a lot of reviews online are maybe geared towards professionals, right? That's why you like the Zai Hander at Pancakes. Um, but, uh... Oh, come on. But they're like, yeah, you know, if you want an indoor mic, you know, just get the, you know, MKH 416 or whatever. And you're like, oh, you mean that $1,300 microphone? No, I, I, I can't do that. Um, and so it's constantly, you know, looking for the ones that are like, sure, if, if money's no object, you can sort of spend your way to good production values. But, um, See what's up here. I know it's up here. It's another. We can maybe get the Black Knight Greatsword, which is a nice alternative to the Halberd, if it works out. And get some backstabs going at least. Oh, it's gonna get ugly fast. <laughs> Got to check my six. Damn it. Oop. So 
that's why I'm kind of curious to see, you know, it's like, you know, if you can see in frame, you know, like I was saying in some other streams, uh, the Elden Ring DLC ones have not gone up yet on the channel. So like they'll go up later in the month. It's going to be a little while given how they're spaced out. But, um, you know, I talk about how I had a certain microphone, OC-18. It was expensive, made me feel bad that it was often, if it was ever sitting on the sideline, uh, made me feel guilty for owning it. So I sold it. And then I was like, but I still want to have that kind of option. And so I picked up its little brother, the OC-16. Because that's affordable, relatively speaking, and it is something that, like, I can keep it as part of the repertoire and not feel bad about it if I decide, let's play around with this other one. Let's get back to that one for a little while. Now, these rats are a good potential place to, not farm is a strong word, but to get humanity. So if you need a couple of humanity, you can sort of hit those guys over and over, and there's a chance you can get them. Okay, so I need to check my six. I think what I need to do is I need to, before I go up, I need to clear this guy. I think that's who came at me. So now that he's checked, let's give this guy, oops. Oh, but I, so let's see if I can pick up my humanity before I kill. Nope. Because that's going to give me, a, whoops, a better chance to... Can I get this off? Nope. Shit. Let's give it one more try, because it's not that hard to get to. Again, for some reason, I, I keep hitting Y. I don't know if that's the Elden Ring button for using things on the ground. It probably is not. But that's what I keep doing. And so then I was forced to spend an extra beat. So, you know, I, I checked out a bunch of reviews and a lot of people are like, oh, you know, there's this Sennheiser MKH 600, which is like a regular person's MKE 416, blah, blah, blah. It was all these details. Um, but then... Podcastage, Bandrew, I really enjoy his... The stuff he puts out. It does tons of good reviews. Okay, they're both gone, good. Um, and he did one of the SE8, and he... He's very thorough in his reviews and what makes them so useful. And he, um... What did he do? He he did tests of the SC8 where he boomed it below and above. So you could sort of see what happens when you do that. And I was like, oh. Because a lot of times you get these reviews and um, they're just using it in like a normal use case, which is fine. But, you know, small condensers, you know, sometimes you boom them. Crap. Shit. Okay, so I lost all that. All right. That sucks. I was hoping I could get enough space with that um, stairwell. Oh. Now the question is, do I burn four humanity out of pocket to go make, do that fight, hoping at a shot? Because the Black Knight sword is a Great sword is a really good alternate. If you if you don't get the halberd, this great sword's pretty good. I'll I'll try once, I guess. Uh 
The momentum of this sword feels very high risk. <laughs> And also the speed. I was saying, like, I feel more comfortable with faster swords. I'm a terrible dancer, so my timing, as you can imagine, is no bueno. Um, so faster stuff lets me uh, not have to worry about timing the attacks quite so perfectly. Okay. It's not a great use of this. Uh, what I might do is I might switch back to a faster... I was able to take out the halberd guy with this. So it's going to take more, but at least I can... Um, it's a little bit quicker. And the backstab window might be a little... Or forget what I said. There we go. <laughs> So I say it might be a little bit more forgiving, but it's not doing anything. This one's a beast, because it's... I'm always fooled by delays. I don't think there's any point to this, but I'll pick it up. Saw so it had a little bit of tracking there. So you can never really let your guard down. It's one of the reasons why I like having a shield. Because even when I'm... Trying to get into backstab, it just protects me while I'm sort of... Trying to get around. Oh. Gotta get off the staircase. Can I take the fight out here? Yep. Oof. Can I get this off? Nope. Fuck me. All right. At least that's not hard to get those four humanity back. But. What are we at? 11 deaths. Here's the promise. No more. No. <laughs> Doing the rest of the run clean. I'm not going to die ever again in this game. That overhead, yeah, attack doesn't take me off the cliff like the Spyhander does. Nope, I need that. It's stupid, because again, this is I, I consider this part of the prep, so to speak. Like, if I can get this uber weapon, then that changes the run. Instead of just, as Matt said, getting good and <laughs> playing the game. So I've got five humanity now. Had a little bit of a rhythm going up here the last time. Let's see if I can get back into it. Nope, that has tracking. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my stuff. I'm going to keep moving. I've got enough to move on with this. Go take on the next boss. Um, <laughs> the question is, what weapon do I go with? Do I go with the halberd? Do I go with the dex uchi?
The reason why I ask is because I could probably buff some stuff up crafting wise. Okay, let me go get my stuff and then, uh, oh shit, is it up top? It's up top because I fell off the ledge. Let's see if you roll too early, you get lit up. It's not the souls I'm so concerned about, it's the five humanity. Um, maybe I should let those go. Uh, the souls... Um, yeah, because I... I, I just losing my train of thought. I can start... I can start um, improving a weapon. But what weapon do I improve? I know the Zweihander can kick ass, but it's a little clunky. The Uchi is a good dex weapon if I'm ready to commit to dex. Maybe I need to start putting points into uh, vitality so I can stop getting my ass kicked. Get that ring of favor and protection going. There you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore the five humanity. It's disappointing because if I I could hand it in for opening up the secret passage for Quaylag, it's just wasted. Uh, so let's go up here. Whoops. Where's uh, the halberd? There we go. Okay, so here they give you a trick to take care of those boars because they're a pain in the butt. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off, but basically you just throw this thing in the fire. And you hope it burns itself to death. Just want to make sure you don't miss and hit it on uh, the platform. You can actually take that thing out on your own. Uh, it's just that the only place that it's not armored is its ass. So, and it has a pretty rough charge. It's pretty. Pretty tough. Now he runs, but you gotta be careful because I think he's luring you. Oh, maybe that guy sort of 
spoil the ambush. The drop down plunge attack, something I really miss in Elden Ring. All the, I, it, it maybe it'd be too much, but that game has so many sort of tools in the toolkit. The fact that it doesn't have plunge attack sometimes is like, oh, I missed that. Okay, mystery key. It's one of the reasons why we're just sort of going through here real quick. We don't probably need any of this stuff, but I'm just going to grab the mystery key, grab whatever this is. I guess it's useful. So saying there's a couple places to farm Balder side swords. This might be one of the other ones, this guy here. We're not going to get it with... Or was it? Oh, if he has the wrong shield, then maybe not. Oh, we're not going to get it with zero humanity boosting our... Uh, with no boost to our uh, item discovery. But basically we're just taking this passage. It's another way to get to where we've already been. Now, the downside to Black Knight Uber weapons is you cannot put status effects on them, which is why I think my friend enjoyed the Balder side sword so much. This guy's got the wrong shield, so it's definitely not. Because you could... If it was a really good weapon, then you could apply whatever... Elemental damage was uh, most appropriate for the fight you're going into. Lightning is often a useful one against dragons, etc., etc. He also really liked the Lucerne. Because it has... I don't know if this has it. No, this has a... The Lucerne is not that different than the Halberd, except it's got an overhead... It's got an overhead R2 attack. And the reason why that's important is because... Taken on Calamites, it helps you chop off his tail. Uh, so I'm going to head back to Firelink Shrine for this part of the run. Now, I'm not going to fully commit to what you can do here, which is you can go there, jump over there, head up there. Next thing you know, you're heading back to certain areas, but... Well, I could get that item, though. That's a key, I think. Nope, I always... <laughs> miss. You don't have to, I don't think you, I don't think you have to come at it from an angle like that. I tend to because I suck. So it's making sure I've actually achieved sprinting speed before I run. like you really want blunt weapons can I level up nope not quite
I don't need that key, so there's no reason to rush for it. Do I have enough? Do I have any souls? Yeah, so I might have enough. Oh, and let me hand in that firekeeper. It's going to get me a level. Again, trying to get to dex 18. At some point, intelligence needs to be 14. So I can take the coward's way out. Okay, we're at two hours. Ish. I think one more person you can try and farm for Balder side sword is this guy. Again, if you see that round parrying shield. And the drop rate is really low. Maybe it's a little more in Sense Fortress, but um this you gotta be careful of, because there's a whole mob. And then this guy. I'm hoping he doesn't come around the corner. But yeah, he buffs... So... I probably talked about this in my actual Dark Souls run that, that I did for real here. Um, instead of this comfort food one. Those guys tend to appear wherever there is a dragon nearby to keep an eye on them, I think on behalf of Seath. Whiff. <laughs> That's a tough area to fight in those narrow hallways. The Halberd's pretty good in its R1 attack. It got greedy and was trying to sweep the leg of the whole group. And failed. You can see it's a little goddamn ridiculous. Um, I 
bell is rung, that means another player has Can I just put this guy down quick? Nice. This guy's another Baldur's side sword potential. You can see the shields. And you get excited. You're like, oh my god, he just dropped something. And then it's like part of his armor. And you're like, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I was about to say nothing. I thought he dropped. There we go. All right, again, still part of the prep. Mystery key, nice. That's why we need it. I wonder if there's lore to where it was. It was inside the. Yes, I have just been. Did we burn his? <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to Homeward Bone. Hopefully, that's Fire Link shrine it is and then we're gonna do the next bit of prep nope kick kick there we go You don't want to get in a fight with that guy. That guy is the real deal. Quick it. Quit out. Reload. Continue. Five humanity, the ring of favor and protection. There we go. Most people leave that ring on the entire game. I, it gets to the point where I don't. But it might allow me to drop Havel's ring at the moment. Not that I need to per se, but um, let's see, level up. Dex is 18. Let's see how we do with Black Knight Sword. I assume I can't. Nope. Hobble's Ring's going back on. Okay. We're in good shape. I think Black Knight Swords do... Do they do fire damage? No, just straight physical. Okay, I thought they might have done a little fire, but... So I've heard some people say that, like, these... Oops. <laughs> it's a slow... It's a lot of damage, but... Very slow. Uh, these um, weapons that sometimes need alternate materials to level up. It's like having a plus five sword. Because at, they only go up to plus five, and so they have to sort of be the equivalent of a plus 15. Let's make sure we clear this out.
Now, I could have, at the bonfire, I could have rekindled, not kindled, I could have gotten human. And if you go human, you can summon the Sunbro guy we talked to up here. But, uh, yeah. Now, the other thing I could do is I could go halberd and put on gold pine resin. Let's see how this Black Knight sword does. Not bad. Finish that guy off. <laughs> Finish one of them off. It doesn't matter who. Time to fire that off. There we go. Hey, buddy, I really enjoyed your latest live stream. I would love to be a fan. Kindly add me up on a Discord username. Okay. I think that's, um, I appreciate it, uh, but I, those often feel like ads, so I'm not quite sure. But if not, I apologize for that misconception on my part. And uh, yeah, thanks for jumping in and checking it out. Okay, two hours in and we've rung the first bell, but I've been dicking around with Black Knights and stuff. So what do you think? Maybe like an hour and a half? Probably three or four of those deaths were. Greetings. I am out, Lord. Come and help. I don't think I need to purchase anything from. Well, purging stones can be useful. going. Okay, so that's that. I guess we can talk to this guy. He'll tell us stuff. You know, he, meant, he makes a good point. Um, do I have the smith box? I can repair equipment. Um... 
Do I have the upgrade material? Might be Twinkling Titanite. I've got a decent amount of that. I do have some souls. Yes, please. Let's see if we can reinforce this uh, Twinkling Titanite. I'm out of souls. Okay, but at least I got to plus one. Uh, Homeward Bone. I wonder... Do I have what it takes? There we go. I need to do it twice though, because I need to get this key. Nope, nope. Or do I? Yeah, do I have what it takes to take on that second demon and, um, where you start? It's a relatively straightforward fight. Uh, you just can't make any mistakes because it's a bit tough. So usually I tackle it at a higher level, but... Uh now I wonder, did they change up... the configuration because you escaped? You know, now they got to put guards on the outside because some some a hole, aka me, ruined it for everybody. Where's the guy? I thought there were two guys in here. Oh, they're coming from the other side. Okay. But if you have a pretty decent weapon, you know you can sort of. 
take that guy on. Uh, but there's a couple other things you want to get here. One of them, I think, is the... Um, is the rusted ring here, or am I misremembering? Or is that in Sense Fortress somewhere? This guy went hollow, but there he is. Uh, oh, it's still not down. Now, the regular crest shield. Any crest shield, I think, has some... What does the crest shield do? It's good against magic. Okay, that's the reason why you want to definitely come back here. Because you'll... Oops. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Uh, because you'll need it for um, the DLC. Where magic is the predominant type of damage you'll take. Or deal with a lot, yeah. Now, if you remember last time we came over here, this door was locked. Now it won't be, because we have the key. Uh, and then we also have to make sure we go back to our original cage. Cage, our cell. So we'll need that for a later level. And again, it's interesting. Did they send one of these Black Knights because somebody escaped? There's a Black Knight, spoiler, in your original cell. Is he there because you've escaped? Rusted Iron Ring. It's good to have for where we're going next. Basically, uh, the Rusted Iron Ring, if you don't know, gives you freedom of movement in areas where, like, there's deep water. Like, so this is your original cell. Is he there because, hey, like, we need to investigate what happened once slipped through? Oh, yeah, you can see right there. Backstabs actually do something. I don't have to, like, do 50 points of damage for backstab. Will two take it down? It will. Black Knight's sword. Oh, we already have that one. Red Titanite Chunk is useful. Um, peculiar Doll. We'll need that later for the Painted World. Now you see he's not marching around anymore. He's just sort of hanging out now. And then the other thing, you know, if you're putting two and two together, which never occurred to me for a while, like when the first demon jumps from the roof and slams into the floor... He does structural damage to it, which is what makes accessing this next one possible, which just never occurred to me. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to rest. I don't know if we're going to actually get any more than eight because we haven't kindled this bonfire. What we're going to do is we're going to switch. What I do for this fight is I switch to the Grass Crest Shield, and then I two-hand it. Um... Not yet, though. You don't want to do that, because now I don't have a shield that blocks 100% damage. And I want to go into this fight with as many health potions as possible, because I'm going to need to burn one as soon as I drop. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to drop. I'm going to try and get off to the corner here, if I can. Because it's going to give me a chance to heal. And now I can sort of get started. So basically, this fight's all about staying behind and letting him do this and giving him a wide berth and then running in and attacking. Not bad. Although it might be better. <laughs> you want to get behind him, which I have not done. Can't even see. <clears throat> yeah. 
that was a that was a poor showing. But uh, let's let's give this another shot. Um, again, if I can get behind him and start the cycle, then it's like fighting Havel. You know, just don't get hit, but also. Um, Rest. Uh, let's. I think you need to reverse hollowing and then you can kindle. Um, yeah, it's just basically don't get hit. And we're going to do this so that we have 10 Estus going into this fight. Okay. Two hand and uh, yeah, let's see if we can pull this off. Maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's see if we can get this started. Now the Black Halberd, Black Knight Halberd will be doing like 500 points of damage. That's why it's like, and you can't be too greedy. You gotta give that AOE time to finish exploding. In my early runs of this game, this one always gave me a lot of trouble, so I have performance anxiety when I fight this guy, even though it's not that tricky. It's starting to get greedy. <laughs> Oops. Can I get back far enough? Too early. Oh, too early, too early, too early. for my role. Get greedy. Finish it off. There we go. going to do a couple things. One, should give us a bunch of souls. Two, it might give us a uh, Titanite slab. First Titanite slab. Let's put back on the fire shield because everything upstairs deals fire. And this has 100% 
physical damage reduction. So we're basically done here. We got the the rusted iron ring. We got the um, what else did we get? We got the titanite slab. We got the peculiar doll. We got a bunch of souls that we're gonna now take to the. blacksmith get the crest of his artorias so we can open up the it's just an easy time to do it you know you clear a boss you get 20 grand just go take care of uh, the crest of artorias so you can get around the forest a little easier and there we go yeah you just you want us a, a weapon that's Gonna hit for like a couple hundred points a shot, right? You don't want to be doing that fight for a week and a half. There's too many ways for it to go wrong if you're making 100 points of damage every hit. So you gotta do like 55 hits instead of like 20. So let's get out of here. Let's head back. I've been muted for a while. Um, yeah, the uh, that demon, you know, gives me a lot of performance anxiety. Um, the one I just killed. If I was muted when I said that, and um, the four kings, they also give me performance anxiety. We've got twenty-four thousand souls. We're gonna go now by the crest of Artorius. I'm a little nervous because I'm in human form, so there's a chance I might get invaded, but I'll have to risk that for now, I guess. Um, we'll go from there. Yeah, apologies. I I said this before. My voice goes when I talk for a little bit. Um, and so the longer streams go, the more I have to clear my throat. And I'm trying to spare you from that. And that's why I mute a lot. And that's why I forget when I mute. Um, so, apologies. Uh, but basically, I was just saying, like, you know, it's just if I was muted during the fight, it's just a matter of, like, staying behind him, letting him do that AoE blast, not getting greedy, chipping away, work that ass. Uh, and then when you're in there, you need to get, you need to get a couple items. You need to get the peculiar doll that's going to let us access the painted world. Titanite slabs, great. You start upgrading stuff. And then uh, the rusted iron ring, because it lets you have mobility in areas where you might not have it otherwise. Like where we're going next in the, into the swamp. Uh, modify equipment, reinforce weapon. Nope. Before we do this, uh, purchase item. Crest of Artorias. I feel like I should get this stuff at some point. But for now, let's reinforce. So this is actually a pretty powerful weapon at this point.
It's actually not bad for this guy. This guy is made of pure titanite, so of course he's like the hardest rock material there is, so he's going to be tough. He's got a couple of attacks. If he jumps up, he comes down with that spear. That's a, that's a rough one. You don't want to get caught with that. It'll pancake you and potentially one-shot you at this HP level. Um, what I might do is, because I think I ran out of souls, I'm going to head back up and see if I can get this sword up to plus three or four, whatever the level is that I was stuck at. The nice thing about these kinds of weapons with Titanite is you don't need Titanites, uh, Twinkling Titanite. You don't need Titanite slabs to get them over the hump. You need two Twinkling Titanites. I don't know if he sells them. He does not. So in that case, I've got 3,000. Let's get this. Uh, did I not purchase it? I did. So I need a thousand souls. Do I have any? I don't. Okay, well, let's uh, let's start making our way. But yeah, no, like no joke, this sword is uh, is pretty potent at this point. It's slow R2 attack is a little concerning, but yeah, one shots an hour. A thing. Now, there's a couple things you can do. Um, I don't want to be in human form. Well, it's okay if I am. I'm going to get killed, basically. But what you can do is you can join this, um, there's where we need the crest. Oh, right. I can summon because I'm in human form. Here's a hidden bonfire. Use the crest of Artorius to open this up. It's sort of a shortcut. You don't have to do, do this, but what you can do is you can join the covenant here be a protector of this area. Nope, it's too slow. There we go. I don't mind that because now I don't have to worry about human invaders, but um, I still have to deal with these guys. So the R2 on this is too slow to be usable. That's one downside. Uh, oh crap, did I not? Oh well. I did not actually rest at that bonfire. Now this guy is permanently gone, so we don't have to worry about him. All right, let's try this again. It 
see these sort of ghostly apparitions. They're a little tough to see. And a lot of them are based on ooh, starting classes you can play. It's also a good place to farm souls if you don't mind the fights. You just have to be careful because, again, they're tough to see. You just have to be careful that you don't get two on one. Two on one is not what you want. He can heal, which sucks. Too slow. Oh, that had some tracking. Okay, there's no point in fighting. Let me go after the thief. There we go. Now, one thing you can do here is you can join a covenant. And if you join this covenant, I don't think these guys bother you anymore. Maybe they do. Okay, so I'm going to join this covenant. I guess I've never done this before. Uh, and then I don't know if this is going to... I don't care about this. But the idea is you get summoned in to protect these woods. But what I actually want is this guy. kill that guy in the armor. I was hoping I could take out his helper and then turn around and fight him one-on-one. -on -one. That didn't happen, uh, so let's see how this works. <laughs> if he's still there. Do I have to fight all these guys again? Or is it now that I'm part of the Covenant, they're okay with me? As you can see, if you're careful, you only really have to fight one of them.
But if I can get to fighting him, I want that sword. Woof. <laughs> Oops, that's two deaths. I'll give it a third one because I'm sure I forgot one. I used to try and figure out how to like kick him off the ledge. Not uh, not the merchant, the other people, just to make it a little easier. Is he down? Nope. There we go. I don't know if I've ever fought this guy. I just know he's got a good sword. And I want it. Do it. Humanity Murakamo. Very nice. Now, what are the stats on the Murakamo? Because that is a that's a good sword. I think it's a dex base. Yeah, scales with dex. Great sword. That's sort of its thing. But you, need, you still need a strength of 28. So it's not messing around. Now, do I have to deal with this helper? And again, the nice thing about... <laughs> That's fair. Uh, the nice thing about... Um Again, the Murakamo is you can put status effects on it. I don't know how it compares to... Like what I'm actually using, if it's worth investing in. Because you still need to have like a quality build, strength dex. Oh, did I fire that off? You got that off? Hmm. Uh, did I hit that? I lose track. Cleric solo. Nope, got the 
the thief coming to. Now let's see if I can do this guy dirty and uh, see what he's got on him. Oh, he's got the ring that lets you do that. I-frame flip. It's like dodging, but it gives you a little more I-frames. Oh, he's got a little magic going on. Darkwood green ring, yeah, yeah. I wonder what she says now that I've just wrecked shop here. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's fair. Stone Helm, that kind of stuff is good for uh, the Four Kings. It's a, a Havel-like armor set where you can just sort of gear up and take down whatever they put in front of you. These things are not hard to fight per se, but they're not... They're slow, so you have to be patient. The big ones hit like a truck, so you just can't get hit. And they guard a chest, <laughs> which has a good item in it, some kind of ember. The small ones, and they can take a lot of damage, that's the other thing. So if you're fighting them normally, it's just like, holy cow, like these things just won't die. Okay, so you kite these things one at a time. And the, the problem with them is you get greedy because they just move so slowly. bad taking out the kid, but I just, I don't know if he's going to see what I'm talking about. <laughs> he's going to get frosty with me while I'm dealing with the big guy. The other thing I guess you could do, they're so slow. Oh, gold pinerism. I didn't know that. Can you go for it? I don't actually want to fight those guys. I just want that enchanted ember. Don't feel good about this. 
one, I probably should spend these souls and level up, but two. This is a dirty task. Oh, I don't... Fuck, I have one Estus. What am I doing? I can't take this fight on with one Estus. Reinforced weapon. Can I reinforce the Murakamo? Why not? Get my strength up to 28. Give it a try. Okay, again, you only have to fight the one guy if you're smart or lucky or whatever. Hug the edge. In fact, you don't even really have to fight him. If you just go for it, he'll eventually give up. I think. I've never burned the Covenant before, so... Probably a bonfire I want to kindle so I can get 10 going into this fight, but I guess we'll see. Artorius, uh, Sif is a very good boy, and we are about to do him dirty. Don't like it. Yep. Really shit start. Ooh, super shit start. <laughs> so I guess I have to do this fight with one SS anyway. Oh, I got him. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Here we go. Mano a mano. <laughs> swing you know Ugh. so dirty so 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 dirty victory is that really the word we're using for this doesn't feel like victory feels like shit but I do get paid <laughs> let's return to the last bonfire Uh, let's level up a little bit. 
Um, what I might do is let's get strength up to there, get three there, so now I can cast light. Because again, I'm a basic bitch. Uh, and let's start doing more vitality. Need more HP. Now, let's just out of curiosity, because I've never actually tried it before, let's try the Murakamo. So there's a couple ways we can go. If we didn't have the Crest of Artorias, we could go the other way. Uh, the Crest Shield, does that do 100%? It does, with a lot of magic, good. Usually I don't have the Crest Shield when I come through here. Usually I've done it in a different order. So the Moonlight Butterfly usually wrecks me a little bit with its magic damage, but maybe with this shield I can, I need to, I can tank it a little more. You can bring a, uh, a summon in if you're human to take magic shots at Moonlight Butterfly while you... Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, let's see. Last time the game may not have been closed. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, that's not that far. Again, a little slow. What are we up to? Three hours? Okay. I don't know if I can make the jump. I probably could make the jump. If I had a running start. All right, I think that takes care of this. Um, I thought this was a bigger ambush in here. Love the music. I don't mind the fight. Um, I'm bad at it, but I don't mind it.
So the reason why you bring in the summons is because while you're doing this, the summons is hitting it with magic. So you don't just have to wait for it to land. I kind of wish I had the Black Knight Sword Fist. It does a little bit more damage. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't even compete at the moment, at least. There we go. That's the trouble with these uber weapons, is uh, you feel obligated to use them. Watchtower basement key. Divine Ember. Okay, let's uh, spend some of these souls. Can I reinforce weapons? basically covers this area, so now we just gotta make our way back. All right, so what's next? I guess next we head down into the swamp. That's going to be Firelink Shrine.
doesn't hit as hard, but I might like the speed of the Uchi. If I'm doing deck shit, I might like the speed of the Uchi more than I like the Muramato or whatever. But we'll have to mess around with that. You know, it's interesting. I'm looking at the um, Twitch crap, and it says like it's an unstable stream. I never know why. I have a really good connection. Maybe I'm trying to do too high of a bit rate. I don't know if that unstable actually means anything. Okay. Another one that gives me performance anxiety is um, whatever the uh, goat monster is at the bottom of the lower undead berg that gives you the key to go into the sewers. The gaping dragon I don't mind too much, um, but it's not that it's necessarily 100% easy for me, but I don't mind the fight. But that goat thing is sort of like it's it's a little bit of a gimmick fight because you gotta survive the first ten seconds while it's just pure chaos, and I'm very bad at that. So now what I want to do is I want to see if I am able to get by without this because I want the rusted iron ring. So I may have to figure out how naked do I have to be to make this work. I'm gonna send this back up. Okay, more naked is the answer so far. There we go. That's not too bad. There's a couple things you can do here if you want. Like, first of all, I think that magic ember goes to this guy. Oh, I thought I gave him... Sell Souls Hour, so, you know, some basic spells. He can make your weapons magic. I thought I had the Ember, which he needs, but maybe that all goes to somebody else. There we go. Sorcery Ember. So now basically I can turn any weapon into, like, a magic damage weapon, I think. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Other thing you can do is you can grab the S-Tok, which is a good dex weapon if you're looking for one. It's similar to the Balder Side Sword, but not as good. But it's a guaranteed get. You can also, you can also start making your way through here because they give you the first couple of um, things you need to actually attack the ghost, but again, I have performance anxiety about the four kings, but there is something in there that's worth getting. I think there's an ember that lets you take your weapons up to either plus 10 or plus 15, so if you're doing like normal weapons, it can be pretty handy. Ooh, poisoned already. This might not be the run, boys. <laughs> nope. Back up.
there's all sorts of good things you can get down here. But I am a fan of going straight for... Bonfire below, and then making your way back up. Honestly, the other half of this I think we can almost ignore. For my ute purposes. There's some guys down here that shoot some toxic shit that you got to deal with because you can get another fire. Keeper soul. But again... Just to avoid doing all this over again, I make my way down. Did I not? Oh, what an asshole I am. I did not rest at the Firelink Shrine. All right. Uh, that was stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's on brand, but it's stupid. All right, so we're about three hours in. Sif is down. Moonlight Butterfly is down. The gargoyles are down. Going back to the Undead Asylum, everything there is down. On my way to ring the second bell. To get into Sen's Fortress, which then gets to Enor Lana. So I wonder if we can get to, like... If Anne Orlando is like a five hour ish run. Again, I'm not speeding it. I'm sort of dicking around a little bit, but I'm not. I'm trying to be at least somewhat efficient. So I'm wondering if that's sort of what we're looking at. And then Anne Orlando, like, if you know the Souls, Dark Souls at all, you know. Anne, or uh, Anne Orlando. Uh, the game goes downhill after Anne Orlando, for the most part. I don't mind the Duke's Archive, but. It's just kind of like, ugh. Um, so under normal circumstances, if I was doing a, like, comfort food, not streaming it, I might actually just stop at Anne Orlando or just, you know, play around there for a bit. Co-op, Ornstein and Smau, as much as people let me and call it a day. Because... Uh, And I made a short for my Elden Ring game where I talked about how I treat these games like a street fight and when it took off a little bit. It's after Anne Orlando, or parts of Anne Orlando, but really it's after Anne Orlando that sort of ingrained that mentality into me. I'm just like, you know, the chaos witch thing. I'm like, fuck that fight. Um, you know, even Nito is a little annoying. It's not too bad, but it's just like, ugh, you know, it's just... Seath... The scaleless, I think, might be the least offensive, but getting to Seath is just another pain in the ass. It's just like, okay. And so that's what happens. I, I turn it into a street fight because I just don't want to make those runs. Elden Ring, by putting the stakes of Marika, I don't know if purists think that's a travesty, but I, for one, don't. Because um, that makes me less... makes me more interested in the fights and not pulling my hair out because I have to now run back to the fight. Makes me more interested in learning. You know, because one of the things people said about that comment is like, well, you should try learning the moves and not relying on something. And they're not right or wrong in that sense. They do it however they want. But I'm not looking to spend three hours in these old games running back and forth to the fights. Demon Souls has some especially egregious that game, once you're in the know about souls, that game is relatively easy. So let's see if I can actually get down to the bottom this time, like a like a winner. 
Uh, did I mark that death? I think I did. It's in the ballpark. I don't know if that's an exact number. I'm... But I think I did mark that death. The real answer is don't bother with these guys. Um, there's no point in dealing with them. They're just getting in your way. Here we go. And like I was saying, I think we can skip the other half of Blight Town. I don't think there's any must-have equipment that we need to get. That's on the half you access by coming down through the sewers. Kids these days, they don't appreciate just how <laughs> how bad the frame rate was in uh, in this area when the game first came out. You don't realize how good you have it. Because this used to be an area like you just kind of dread a little bit, but it's actually not bad when it functions. Oh, are you trying to drop some toxic on me? I think you can just roll off this straight into the um, swamp. I, I don't trust myself not to screw up and die, so I'm just going to... Got the rusted iron ring, so I should be able to move through any swamp areas pretty easily. Whoops. Okay, a couple things. What we're going to do, we're going to... Use two of these. In a minute. First, we're going to run back here and get whatever's back here. It might be a dragon scale. I don't know if I'll even need it, but we'll grab it. I'm not sure what's going on in my leg there, but uh, that feels like an ACL, all four. <laughs> You're not coming back from that this season. Uh, let's leave. Oh, crap. What I'm looking for is the invasion. Oh, shit. She's still here? There we go. Butcher knife's a good strength weapon. 
Uh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. If you're in the know. Um, let's rest at the bonfire. Let's level up. Uh, you know what? I think I have some souls I can burn to get one more level. Let's do that. See about Quee like. First and foremost, do I have the right shield on? Dragon Crest. No. That's probably part of the problem. Uh, do I have one poison healing? Okay. Probably should have bought more of those. Got lots of options here. Again, I like uh, Jolly Co-op because that helps them get... If they're it, if they're trying to get the every time you help somebody out in co-op you have the requirements dropped five or maybe you have to do that before you yeah let's do it let's. I don't know if we both have to skip, but... Yeah, maybe that's the trick. Maybe you need a certain level of faith to get into the guild, but then every... So maybe this guy doesn't actually need the help, but since he's put down the... The Sunbro sign, I will, um... I'll bring him in. Dark Souls boobies. Um... Some, some weird folks out there. Dwell on that a bit. Now, the main thing you gotta watch out for this guy is when he explodes. Because sometimes it's hard for me to see when I'm locked on. Basically, she drops to the ground. Well, she doesn't drop to the ground. She lowers herself. That might be it. And if you're close, you get wrecked. Luckily, I was able to back away a little bit. But it gets to the point where she's dropping magma everywhere. It gets tricky escaping. Like right here. Oh, okay. That could have been worse. It actually helps knock to lock onto her so you can actually see what she's doing when she goes through that explosion.
Okay. Judge, I don't know if the amount of souls you get is a way to judge the intended order, but um, I think Sif gave you 40. She gives you 20. So again, we probably could get both bells rung without... It was still dicking around a little bit in about three, two and a half, three hours maybe. Again, one of those heartbreaking things. Um, I think you need to hand her 30 humanity to unlock the got one 18 22. I don't even know if it's worth unlocking the shortcut. It might help you save Sunbro Guy, but otherwise, actually, I think it's a little bit tougher. And again, if you had the old Witch's Ring or whatever, you could understand what she says. Because it's heartbreaking. If you don't know, the idea is that her sister is upstairs, Quaylag, and she basically provides her food. <laughs> I think. Keeps her sustained, keeps her alive. She's blind and can't really speak. And, um,. Hopefully that did all the levels. Uh, and yeah, and um, so she's actually helpless and you just screwed her. I don't know, Homeward... Oh no, because I just... I'm trying to think if there's anything here we actually need. We got the key... If I was not wearing the Wanderer's armor, I could hunt around for that set, but I don't need to. There's crafting material and, of course, the entrance to Ash Lake, but we don't want to go into Ash Lake until we've been to An Orlando because we can't get out of Ash Lake, although there is a really good ring that helps, but I, I couldn't wear it anyway with uh, stamina recovery. Great Club is down here for Matt's Ungabunga. I believe that's over there somewhere. He is right that it's sort of like a... <laughs> a 
giant fuck you club to the whole game, and it definitely will wreck shop. Yeah, if you don't panic when you get poisoned, you can run around here and pick up some items that are... Probably what I should do is I should hit the um, bonfire first. There's a bunch of stuff you can find if you make your way up the other side of this, but uh, I just don't know if I care. There's like some like green large titanites down here in the swamp. It's all sorts of stuff, but um I don't know if I need it. What do I need to level up? Does it say? I'm only chaos servant plus one. I figured I would have been plus two with all that. all the souls that I dumped on her. So now we make our way back up. It's not terribly hard. It's just one portion that I'm bad at. And it's a stupid thing to be bad at, but I am. And that is getting off the uh, elevator. I think the trick is you gotta sort of do it in an angle or something. And I. Oh, there we go. Now the question is do I go take care of that one area where the toxic guys are? Get a firekeeper soul. And I think there's some other stuff there that's good, but I don't know if I, I don't have a spider shield, which I think you could get in the sewers. Yep. Toxic is the same as poison, just faster. I don't mind this being a suicide run. At all. Um, so the dogs down here can be tricky, but again, I do have the fire shield. fucking locking on him. That's what I'm here for, so if I don't get that, I'm going to be pissed. Good enough.
<laughs> uh, I don't even know if it's worth doing. I did pick up some clumps. I don't know why this is, again, one of those performance anxiety moments like the, um, maybe that's, maybe it's that simple. Maybe it's taking me that long to learn. But, uh, yeah, to me, that's <laughs> almost like the, um, dual bone arrow knights in, in Orlando. Like, <laughs> am I going to make it? Moment of truth kind of thing. Now I don't have to bother those guys anymore. I just need to find ladder up and get out of here. Then back to Firelink. Then we'll head to Sen's Fortress. Potentially, you could argue, one of the best parts of the game. I would argue that. Here's a question for you. If anybody knows, is the Four Kings fight optional? Like, do you have to actually fight the Four Kings? I don't recall what they give you. Pro tip, make sure the elevator's there before you walk into it. Let's, um, let's go to Sen's Fortress. I was about to say we could do Lower Undeadburg. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Sen's Fortress is more fun. Uh, hi. They'll give you a Lord Soul, so not optional. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And Kath, yes. You do need Kath for one of the endings. Um, and you do need the Lord Soul. So I guess it's one of the four. So you could, in theory, do it after Anna Orlando. I mean, could you do it before? I guess you could do it before. Maybe it's the only one you can do before? I appreciate that, Bulldog. Thank you.
So I wonder, do most people fall like light ending, dark ending? Which one is, is there one that people feel like is the more morally quote unquote good? I wasn't aware of the dark ending the first time I beat the game, which took me 90 hours, I think. I was really, I'm still really bad, but I was extremely really bad at the time. Um, trying to get a couple thousand souls, see if I guess, nope, that'll do it. I'm going to get my, uh, I was thinking of doing 2020 health endurance to start. And then start making endurance, you know, start putting more points into those again. What do we got? Divine Ember? Yeah, I can make holy weapons. Great. I don't really have much of anything, so let's uh, start making our way. Not a strong start. <laughs> the four kings are the only ones you can fight since the start of the game if you survive ghosts and dark race. <laughs> LOL, haha, by the way. Yeah, pleasure help. I really appreciate the inf information. And yeah, I um, Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you can survive the ghosts. The ghosts in that one room, uh, the like the cathedral. Holy God. And they... You can use a bow and arrow to sort of take out a guy and sort of cheese the key or whatever. Um, because I got to tell you, those, some of those ghosts... There's always one enemy in the game that um, sends chills at my spine. In Elden Ring, there's about four, but... Um, The ghosts in this game are one of those, you know, especially when they come through the wall and just grab you, the noise they make, the one that seems to be holding like a, I don't know if it's a stillborn infant or an infant of some kind. It's just all, it's all bad. It's all bad. Uh, at the moment, I do not need, you can use this ring here, but I don't need it at the moment. I don't know if I need any any of these rings, to be honest with you. Um, boost poise. Boost criticals. A boost poise. I do block a lot because I'm a wuss. I would like him to die from the boulder. That did not happen. Let's see if I can cheese this. the attack is you need to get him to bait into. There you go. Hmm. 
Here we go. We got Logan, even though we don't need him. We'll free him. His storyline might be a way to get a blue Titanite slab. Like many of the stories in this game, just dripping with tragedy upon tragedy. I haven't missed too many. I got one of them. I'm wondering if I should kindle the bonfire behind me. Again, not that I'm amazing at this game, but I thought I could get up to the top with just five. Flasks. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, I was surprised that two were down here. Maybe in... No, how dare you message. This gentleman does not need kicking. He needs to have so much performance anxiety that he gets near, near suicidal. So then he can disappoint his daughter and give us fat loot.
Ah, there we go. That's a ring I can use. Now, this is actually something I don't need, but um, I guess I'll grab it. All right, here we go. Nope, whiff. In my first run, such a basic bitch that I uh, used the Drake sword for the first half and then realized that wasn't cutting it anymore. And then I got the lightning spear here and I just uh, carried those to the end. That's a better one I could use. That's probably why it took me 90 hours because I was using crap weapons. I don't think I need this either, but I'll grab it just in case. I guess that can't hurt. I can't recall. I know there's obviously Titanite demons down there. Which you can get crafting material, but I don't know if they give you anything else you might need. It's another reason why it's good to have the rusted iron ring, because it makes it. Oh, shit. <laughs> makes it. <a little>, oh! <laughs> <laughs> it 
makes it uh, easier to fight those things down there. <laughs> that was straight trash. All right. I definitely, okay, mark that one. Good. <laughs> Whoa, coming in from the top rope. I can't recall if it resets. I assumed it did. Now, if I were a better player, I think you can run up there, but I feel like it drops too quickly. And I'm not good enough to either tank it or roll through it or whatever. this guy. There's somebody behind me. Oh, 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 is there, yep. <laughs> ah. Real Dark Souls starts here. I assume I could probably speed run past these guys.
You know what? Start that over. I'm trying to see if I have a weapon that's better tuned for when I get stuck in this corridor, but maybe the trick is don't get stuck in the corridor. Let me see what just happens. I mean, the truth of the matter is that I think you can just run by a lot of these things. trying to see the time. Now, I can't recall, is this hole just a trap, or is there some reason to check it out? Looks like a trap. Flambarage, that's a, okay, that's a good, good sword to pick up. This one's a pain in the butt, because there's a guy to my left. I did not get through. <laughs> Didn't make it. I don't know if there's a trick to that one. Usually I have to do something cheesy like actually 
used ranged weapons to take out the guy on the left. But again, feels like there should be a way to just go for it. I thought it was dead, and that's... <laughs> Can't make that mistake. All right. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well played. What other comfort games people have like this for me? Like for me, because in theory I can beat this in, I don't know, like I said, last time I beat it was 12, 15 hours. If I were a little better and more practiced, probably faster, but, um, which is the kind of thing, like, you know what? I just feel like something comfortable. It's going to take me a little bit of time, but not a lot. A friend of mine who got really into this game, one of his other comfort games, because here he would sort of jolly co-op and PvP and all that kind of stuff. Um, it was Lost Planet 2. Because that's another one you can just sort of beat in 10 hours and it's a ton of co-op. Oh, that's also a good strength weapon. All right, so what's uh, what's the deal here? Oh, that's a bad start. So let's not do that. There we go. See if I can burn a lost soul or something to get up that 1500. If I still have any. Uh, let's use two.
you know, I could probably get six grand from the other ones. Got four grand from that one. You know, I was going to say, now I'll kindle this mod. I don't know if I have any humanity left after giving it all to Quelag's sister. Yeah, I don't think I have any. All right. It means two things. One, I won't have ten flasks. And two, <laughs> can't summon the Iron Tarkus guy, whatever. Okay. Oh no, sir. I don't approve of that at all. Now is this... Ooh, that's gonna go poorly. This guy's got a lot of vibes going on that are similar to the guy in the Undead Asylum who helps you. Similar armor, feels like. Actually, I actually have to start paying attention now to the chest since we've had our first mimic. And you can get the Balder side sword, I think, from this guy, if you get lucky. You know what? Is 
Is there actually anything over here, though? I, I don't think there is. Did I not get the... Oh, I gotta get the key from the other... Okay. Lose track of which keys do what. Not gonna lie, my butt clenches every time I make that jump. What do we got? Blossoms? No. Shards? Maybe. Don't need any of this. It's interesting that he has the Onion Bro armor set. Nothing at all. Fine. Is there more I need to talk to? Okay. Oops. I wonder, is the using the cage key, is that actually a shorter run than uh, running along the building structures? I, I don't know. I guess it's good to have, but... Uh, Actually, I didn't... Well, there's just a crossbow down there. I was going to say, it's not the end of the world to fall off there, but... um. Okay, now the question is, still need to deal with the guy that's dropping the explosive bombs, but the iron whatever, the guy I'm about to fight, does he do physical and magic? Or is it just physical? Basically wondering what the best shield is for me to use.
wonder how long I've been muted for. But I wonder, um... I wonder what the actual, you know, when you first, when you, when they first conceived of this game. Nobody sits there and thinks, we should have the strongest part of the game be in the middle, right? So I wonder if there was a different plan, if there was a different order to things. Like I've always heard in Dark Souls 3, the end of the game was supposed to have been in a different area than from what it was. I don't know. Just makes me wonder. Because um, this is as good as this game is going to get right here in this area. And... Um, Okay, do I boost up the Murakamo or the Uchi? I'm into the Uchi. The Mur I'll, I'll do the Murakamo as well at some point, but it's just it's a little slow to repair. All right, getting there with the stamina. Well, welcome. If you seek exit, if you are the chosen one, what follows that? Hmm. What is it? What am I? If not. So I confess, one of the ways I get my SS flask up is. I don't know if there's other ways to get it. I just don't know to get to a plus five, but um. I kill her. Eventually, once I can start fast traveling around and I get to other parts of the map, um, yeah, I kill her. I take her fire because I didn't know if that was something a lot of people do because she has the same armor as um, the guy we kill at the Firelink Shrine to protect our main Firelink. Maiden. I don't know if I'm supposed to imply anything from her armor set. I do. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was on me. It's been a little while. Uh, let's... Try this again. Now, was there something in the other side? I don't care about the crystal halberd, but the um, twinkling titanite's nice.
Now, usually that means something, like I've been invaded, but I don't know. Can you... Okay, I was going to say. It's more, yeah, Demon Titan, which I don't know if I need at the moment, but I'll grab it should the time come. One of the other, <laughs> one of dozens of quote unquote worst parts of the game for me. Say, usually they run out by there. <laughs> Didn't do the jump attack. Basically, I hope for the jump attack and he just kills himself.
There we go. Much obliged. No, 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 let's not, let's not ruin it now. <laughs> I'll take that. not remembering it off the top of my head at the moment, but getting to the other side was another thing that took me a long time to figure out. Oh, here we go. All right, so at least if everything else goes wrong, I don't have to deal with um, the rafters.
Here's where we're going to spend the next four hours of this run. <laughs> Not because of these guys, but of course because of the two archers up top. It's interesting, two of these guys help you up here, then the rest attack you. I don't know why those two would be primed to... Maybe there's a lore reason? If I were a better player, I'd just run by everybody. I just, I just don't trust myself to do that. There you go. Greedy, didn't have the reach, etc., etc. Just being super cautious because Okay, here we go. Let's try it. I know there's tricks. I know you can parry one of them. I'm terrible at everything. I know there's ways you can sort of roll through one of the arrows, and then you can take your shots. You can knock them off. There's all sorts of things you can do that people have managed to turn this into a joke. I am not one of them. needs to go down. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Um, it's been almost five hours, so let me let me do that real quick.
Okay, now I'm unmuted. I'm back. Stored some of the blood flow to my legs and ass from sitting in this chair for so long. Here we go. Again, I'm going to take it cautiously until I'm going insane on my 15th try, and then I'll take it recklessly for the 20 tries after, and then I'll go back to cautious. Although I do think I can get by the... Um, can I get by the... Giants, at least. Basically, can he get through that gate? I think he can. Okay, so I gotta at least deal with one. I played a little more cautiously. Now these guys I know you can run past. I might just do that. I know there's a lot of there's an audio cue you gotta listen for. To avoid that. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get out there and, uh...
Yeah, so here's the, uh, the mat way. Get down here, pick up Havel's armor. And hang on for the ride. Havel's great shield wouldn't be a bad thing to be able to handle. The uh, dragon's tooth is a beast of a weapon. You saw Havel use it against me. Just absolutely flattened me. This fight always creeped me out a little bit just because it's always like on the edge of darkness. So you can't really see where he's coming from. The Occult Club. That's a hack for Nito. Downgrade the Occult Club into like a Holy Club and then it knocks down his summoned help. They can't get brought back. Okay. Can I make this jump? Yep. I don't know about that. All right. Um, we got this going. Now we can go up. Do we care about this? Not really. You need to pay for the crimes of your kin. Give me a hard time getting up the ramparts. And here's the reason why you want to hang out here for a while jolly co-oping because you can then um just a good place to buy upgrade materials and um
I have one. Let's buy eight. It's also a good place to farm souls, not just... Co-oping Ornstein and Smau, but also... Buy some more. So now once you get something to five, can you wait, what was that? Oh yeah, we can revert this to Divine Club. Let's do that. Lightning Spear will keep. So we're, we're just messing with the uh, the Serpent Sword. Let's see. So here we're looking at 388 damage. Man, this isn't even close. The Murakamo. 270-something. Uchi's not even close. The Dragon Tooth, if we could handle it, which we can't, at 40. It's doing... Do a lot. <laughs> uh... Going the wrong way. I'm just curious about the serpent sword. This this is a good weapon. It does a lot of bleed. It's gonna get me 230 something. There's just nothing close to the 388 on this at the moment. I wish I had the Black Knight Greatsword, but alas. I don't think I need what's out here, but I'll just do it just to be safe. Oh, actually, that's that's pretty useful. Okay, so now do I have what I need to... Do I have two humanities, basically the question. See if I can get a level out of this, and then what I might do is I might, um, although level, well, no, leveling is important still. I was going to say, at some point your equipment's better than, more important than your level. Let me see if I can, um, might be a waste of time, but let's see if we can do it. I was going to say, what I should be doing is I should be putting my sign down, seeing if anybody needs help. That would help me, I think, get a couple of humanity.
feel like I should be getting some backstabs. Not gonna lie. Ah, did I just get fucking invaded? Yep. <sighs> Perfect. Out of humanity, he doesn't get the... the luxury... Put one more on there because I, I might have missed one. I don't know why I'm not getting backstabs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to also, let me make the rounds just, um, just to do it. Cause there might be some equipment or something that I might need. Maybe there's some humanity if I do the proper run. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> Rolled right into that. Symbol of Avarice. I think it's a helmet that helps you get items, but it constantly screws up your health. The other reason to do this is, of course, to advance Sigmeier's quest. Nope.
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do this just played safe. I don't know what happens if they swing and hit Sigmire. So I'll just try and deal them one at a time. I think I'm getting the position of the backstabs a little better. I think I was overcorrecting. I think I was going too far. Now, who is that? Or is it just the guards out there? I don't know why you'd have a poster, a picture of them now. Did it say how much Twinkling Titanite I needed to... I mean, I'm sure it did. I just didn't catch it. To get from three to four. So I might be with this sword for a while. I don't think I'm going to... Until I get like a Black Knight Greatsword or something. Okay. Nope. <laughs> that was a travesty. <laughs> I thought I got caught the first time. And then just began a bunch of really stupid things. <laughs> Gotta get better at that. That would have served me on the um, ramparts. And if I'm gonna defeat Gwyn, I'm definitely gonna need to be able to do that. Now the question is, where did I die? Right over here, right?
Nope. Hm. Silver Knight Shield is probably something pretty good. Wonder if I can. How bad is it if I do this? What's this required? Okay, 50, forget it. So I got to tell you, I don't know if I've ever taken on Ornstein and Smau 100% solo. At a minimum, I probably summon Sunbro because I would have humanity. I wouldn't have ditched them all. Let me head over to this blacksmith to see if two twinkling tight knights enough to get this up to a plus four black knight sword. I need two. Okay, cool. Four Twinkling Titanite Knight's going to take 32 grand to get it maxed out. Um, what else are we working with here? You know, honestly, I could probably... I don't need these. I get 32 grand out of this. Quaylag, you can get the Chaos Sword, so I might hold on to hers. There we go. What else can I purchase here? grab that. What else? No. 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 Okay. Uh, let's burn. Whoops. Gotta be careful. You don't want to attack him or you're screwed. Okay. There we go. Maxed out. Not bad. Okay. do is I'm going to Homeward Bone. And let's uh, see if we can do a run. Only five Estus. That's trash.
Okay, we're going to be dealing with lightning damage, not fire. Would lightning be considered magic? Probably not. Lightning, 65. 100%. 45, 45, 70. What's that? The gargoyle shield? But it doesn't block 100%. Iron round shield. Can I pull off the... Silver Knight Shield. It's still fast roll. I can. Okay. Let's see what I can do. I'm just gonna gun it. Try and get by everybody. <laughs> Not the run. Alright, let's see how this goes. Am I oh, oh, they're hitting me through the... Oh, screw that. Really? Okay. I want him to lunge at me more. There we go. Create some distance. Yeah, come at me. There you go. Oh, oh I'm stuck. <laughs> that could have been bad. There we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm supposed to go to a cutscene here. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I need to roll into him. Okay. That was a shit run to get in there, though, so maybe I can um, do a little better. Uh, I don't need the... Let me get something else going for my rings. I don't need that. Um, poise. Steel protection. I don't think I have any lightning protection, so let's do that.
Yeah, come at me. Come on. Nope. Can't see. <laughs> can't see what's going on. at me more. Go down. Cutscene. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go full here, just to stay conservative. Can't even see what happened. time I rolled right into a broken column, so that killed that. No. You know what? Conservative, mano a mano. There we go. Yeah, I think it's the first time I've ever actually soloed now I get humanity. Perfect. Uh, did I mark a death? For, I think I, I don't know if I marked a death for my last run there. Why not have Havel ring and wear a little more armor without losing your fast roll? That is a good question. I was going for most... Uh, thank you, Shade, for jumping into the chat. Um, that's a good question. I was uh, going for physical protection from the ring, but I probably would have been better served doing exactly what you described. Um, going Havel's ring. How much... Can I put a shirt on? <laughs> Could I... Yeah, that was probably the better move. I guess it worked out. I or maybe the other thing would have been poise. You know what's coming.
Yeah, whatever. The Lord Vessel, nice. Okay, so five and a half hours, maybe half an hour could have been saved with some of my early messing around. There we go. Um, Knight armor has good lightning. That's true, yes. Uh, I don't know. I guess even if I was wearing pieces of it, it would have been better than nothing. Um, I wonder how much knight armor I could have put on. Reinforced weapons. Let's take a look at that. Silver Knight armor does have good, very good lightning. Even if I was just doing this, could I have, maybe not quite. Huh, that's good, to, okay. All right, so we've made it, um, we've dispelled the illusion. Oh, wait, I thought I turned it to night. Didn't I kill her? Or whatever, like dispel, dispel the illusion. Um, so that's interesting. What happens when you attack her and it doesn't transition to night? Oh, there we go. Thou that tarnishes the godmother's image, I am Gwyndolin. And thy transgression shall not go unpunished. Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor Londa. able to warp to. Uh, Dark Moon Tomb, Daughter of Chaos, Undead Parish, and Orlando. Yeah, now the Firekeeper is the other hot, the one in and Orlando, right? Um, I was saying earlier, it might have been before, I tended to kill her anyway. I don't know if that's like a bad move, but I would kill her regardless just to get her Firekeeper soul because I was judging her based on her armor that she was probably some evil piece of garbage. Nope. Nope, stop doing that. <laughs> Fair. Uh, let me pull in here real quick. Maybe need a little more space. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Shade says, the benefit of not killing her 
Is to get to, you get to use the bonfire near her. Yeah, and is there? But is, I guess. I guess going to um, Duke's archives. You know, we still haven't done that yet. Uh, so I guess once you get into Duke's archives, you can fast travel there. Maybe it's not so important to be able to return to that spot. I, I don't really know. Um, I thought there was a third one. Seeing, uh, let's see, reinforce any equipment that might be worth flamberge that might be worth doing, Zweihander, and the Uchi. So let me buy a bunch of um, Tainite Shards, maybe not that many, maybe 12 to start. Let's get the Uchi up. Just in case I start changing my mind about stuff. Um, let me see. Or is there one down here? Maybe that's the third. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I guess that's going to be lost. Because here she is. So it was you, was it? How dare you produce a blade upon a deity? How did you ever... Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, yeah, it's... When I play these games, I can never make up my mind. Oh, yeah. I can never make up a mind about what kind of weapon I want to use. So, right now I'm using a Black Knight Straight Sword. I probably should just. It's maxed out. I should probably just stick with that. But how? This um, what I need to do is I need to start getting the other stuff. I guess it's the other blacksmith who can take it from 5 to 10. At some point, I feel like the Black Knight Greatsword will get outpaced. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to go get her stuff. Apologies for that. Because that's the thing. I've played this game a number of times, and I can get through it at somewhat of a clip, but um, we're almost at six hours, but I still don't know the ins and outs. Yeah, so I guess when it comes time to do the Duke's Archive, I'm going to have a long run. Which is going to suck, because then you got to get past two of those hogs. And if you blow it, which I probably will... What I'm going to do is I'm going to warp quickly to fire... No, I'm not, because I don't know if I can get back here. Um, let's, uh...
Let's give this a shot. I always screw this one up a couple times. If you haven't finished the game as a level one character, you're missing out. Yeah, I don't know if I could, um... With that, do you go with, like, a depraved? Like, what do you... What do you do? Heretic. First thou offended the godmother, and now thou... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Beef, maybe? Okay, interesting. Is it just because of the uh, master key and the black bombs? Oh, shit. Yep. This is when it does it. Can I? No, I can't because I haven't done the four... I figured it would have just put me back at the, um, the bonfire I sat at right outside the... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So given those stats, since you can't bump your stats up, what weapon do you go for? Shade says you can upgrade your weapons, but not your character. Yeah, this I don't get. I don't understand why it placed me way back here instead of... Or is it because I'm a traitor or something? Yeah, very low weight weapons, yeah. I guess like rapiers, would that be a good? Yeah, I don't get why... Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get why I had to make that crossing. I thought I could just respawn at um, the place below. Oh, there we go. It's a little frustrating, um, because if I, you know, because I, you know, I'm terrible at this game, so if I died to Gwendolyn a couple of times, no, oh, I don't want to have to do the rafter crossing every time.
I guess I just leave this in place. I think the fire hand is going to be your best friend. The fire hand. Uh, it doesn't take anything to use it. I assume that's the uh, pyromancy. That makes sense, yeah, because there's a ton of stuff you can do with that. Oh, that's pretty good. Do I get it off? <laughs> see the fire damage uh, fire protection on crest oh wait no dragon crest You know what I might do? Just in case there's interesting stuff to pick up. You can use fire weapons on those to knock attack. Oh, so if I burn them, that negates that ability? Oh, that's good to know.
Okay. Um, hmm. That was stupid. That's true, yeah. Since I am going in first, that's a good point. That's not a... I'm not even sure if I need any of this. I guess this stuff can't hurt. The invasion won't happen, obviously. Let's see. Nope, that's a terrible opening. See how ugly this is.
Yeah, the first time I dealt with these, I was, again, like, heart in my throat kind of stuff. Where'd he go? <laughs> yeah, they, they are funny, like, in the abstract. Yeah, this, this is set up like a horror movie, <laughs> you know, but yeah. Yeah, Shade 690 says the skeletons are funny, yeah. This is where it gets really bad. I don't think this is a... Okay, yeah, 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 that comes from the courtyard. Not looking to go there quite yet. I do get a kick out of their all-in approach. Key, right? Okay. Am I in the clear? I think I got what I needed regardless. Honestly, I don't actually think I need anything behind this door, but... Rapiers, rapiers. Yep. Yeah. Oh well, that's fine. I don't know if I have. I well, maybe I have fire bombs. Okay. Might not be 100% accurate, but... <laughs> Pure greed. Yeah, I don't think I need anything... back there besides my pride but thirty deaths yeah you know it's and I I wasted a bunch like going after like black knights to get equipment
That's fine. Nope, I just did the thing I was trying to get them to do. That worked. Has a little knockback. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see what's up here. Oh, nope. Well, somebody's got to do something. Either you got to come down. Yeah.
don't know if I could survive that fall. I'm almost positive I don't need whatever's up here. Yeah. Yep, I was going to say, we might be in Homeward Bone territory. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. I was getting greedy. There we go. doing
<laughs> guy just comes in and brings the pancake. This is not going to go well unless I just don't kill Priscilla. The reality is, is that there's no reason to. <laughs> I was hoping it would give me the tail on a cheap shot there. Oh, come on. Really? Okay. Oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let me start that over. See now, can I just get by them? An ambush shows up behind me. And that's fine. If I let this guy come closer. tank that. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Fuck me. That was stupid. <clears throat> uh, hmm. That was really stupid. Let's try that again. 
All right, six and a half hours. So we have to kill it. We got to get the souls now to fill the Lord vessel. There's Nito. There's four kings. Seath. Can I hit her? about to roll. It's got full range of attack there. Nope, I'm going to eat that. There we go. That's, man, Sif and Priscilla just feel like such awful moves. <laughs> just really awful things to do. I'm almost tempted to not drop out because then I can... basically to avoid that. I could have gotten back to bonfire in the painted world and use that to warp. Can I send this back up? No. Is 
So here's what I'm going to do. Let's try this again. And then if it makes me... I, I, I didn't think I had to... Do everything I had to do to get back here. So let me see if it'll let me... this all day. empty. Okay. That's interesting. So on one set side, there was a set of golden armor. The other side was empty. So I'm wondering if maybe one of the people wearing, like, Lautrick or whatever the guy is who I take the Ring of Favor and Protection from, maybe he stole it. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just making shit up, but maybe there's some lore to why that might be empty. Let's get this up to 30 and then we'll start boosting, I guess, endurance up? I don't know. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp to, I think Undead Parish will get me close to the, to the blacksmith. And, um, yeah, let's, uh, check in here and then. Let's see if I can start getting things up to from plus 5 to plus 10. I know from plus 10 to plus 15, I think it's in the New Lando Ruins. Oh, do I not have what I need to get to... Oh, you know, I don't, because that is in the sewers. Okay, so maybe we'll do that next. Gonna tag these guys just in case we get lucky. There's one of them that has the sword, that guy with the round shield.
No, nope. okay. It's undead berg, and we're gonna. Can I open this gate yet? I don't... Oh no, it unlocks from the other side. Perfectly wrong timing on that one. A little cheese, but I'll take it. All 
wonder if the mail breaker, you know, Shade was talking about, Shade uh, 690 was talking about weapons a thief could use at a level one run. I wonder if a mail breaker is one of them. See if I get lucky and take this one out in one go. Odds are not, but... Again, the beginning of the fight is basically the whole fight. There's the two dogs and then the demon itself. And um, if I can break right and then cut left and get up the stairs... Maybe, but... Oh, those could be helpful. 4,000, though. Homeward bones could also be helpful. Okay. Let's go with that. up got three estus um yeah the problem also the problem is i think that this sword is going to be bad for the opening dogs i don't know if i've buffed up this firehander's too slow the uchi they're all sweeping attacks when i what i really need is a um lightning What does this do for damage? It's not bad. What happens if I... Can I fast roll? I can. So I'm going to use... I'm going to switch to this to try the dogs on the stairs. No, 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 don't chase, don't chase. Okay. Okay, there we go. Nope, yeah. Nope. 
There we go. I don't know if that's necessary, but, uh, why not? Should have got that a long time ago. I don't know if I really need much else down here. the spider shield is down here that might have been useful i guess but Yeah, why not? Oh, screw you.
Oh, he's not here? Okay. I thought there was a merchant that shows up there. I forgot to do the thing that stops from debuffing the demon. What do you think? Can I do it without? In theory, I'm over leveled, but it's going to make it a hassle. Yeah, why not? Less time I have to spend down here, the better. Basically, it's another one of those channelers that keep eyes on dragons. Trying to cut his tail off. <laughs> there we go. Homeward bone out of here. Do I have any? Nice. Okay. It's homeward bone. Let's warp out. Let's go back to N Orlando. Give the guy the warp. Uh, undead parish. Okay, let me see. What we can do with this. Okay, here we go. Let's get um, this definitely going. Get this going. Let's get them all going. Uh, we can go raw. We can go divine. We can go 
bring it back down. Let's reinforce. One ninety two versus the Flamberge one seventy. So let's do this in the We need two large Titanite shards. Can I buy those? Not here. Uh, Chamber of the Princess, okay. Take a look at these weapons. We got the Black Knight Sword, which does four <laughs> four forty-eight. Flamberge is gonna be up there two twenty-three. That's gonna be two ninety-eight. That's it's getting above three hundred. That's something. Four forty eight is gonna be tough to beat though. That's getting close to three hundred, but it, it's gonna does that not do bleed? I thought it did bleed. Maybe that's the advantage of the flamberge. At least it does bleed. Let's get some of these things up to plus 10 just to see what they're like. And then... Then it's the uh, Enerlando Ruins or whatever. I want to get it up to 15. And that's the thing. When you get things up to 15, I think they're going to start competing with this sword. Oh, wait. I need to buy large Titanite shards. Because otherwise, this is just a dex scaling. Yeah, I don't need that. Okay. I guess the question is, am I able to start? Doing things like the Duke's archives. Should I do the four Kings first? Because I can get the very large Ember as part of that process. Uh, I was hoping I could... I mean, I've been dicking around. I was going to say, I was hoping I could get this run to under 10 hours. If I just said, you know, I'm good with the Black Knight Sword, let's just go with that. Probably would have been a little more possible, but um, we're coming up on 7. And it's been like an honest seven. Like I took a couple minutes pause at one point, but if it's been more than a couple of minutes, I'd be surprised. Let's see, are we able to, did we open up things like the Duke's archives? Yeah. 
I guess at some point I should go back to Firelink Shrine and deposit this uh, Firekeeper soul. Is this still blocked? Oh, I know what I need to do. Okay. And it's a long run to get back there, so I apologize. Never place the Lord Vessel onto the thing, and that's what opens up that stuff. Yeah, just, uh, the, this sword is good, right? Obviously it's good, it does a ton of damage, but I find the R2 attack functionally useless for my purposes. So, apologies, I think there's lawn work going on. Um, so I wouldn't mind being able to switch it up somehow. Like when you use the Black Knight Halberd, that both attacks are pretty good. But this one, the wind up for the R2 is so slow that it doesn't cut it for me. Maybe I'll do the Anor Orlando Ruins next. Well, he did not know the date, is that? Yes, I it did well. Am I pleased? No, I'll be hitting as nothing worth. No worries. <laughs> no, I'll be hitting as nothing. No worries. <laughs> So he heads down to the swamp. What do I have for a ranged weapon? You're going to see that death count go up a bunch, I think, down here. Did he go hollow? He did. Okay.
Okay, we've got two transient curses to start. Let's uh, unequip this. Let's unequip this. Keep that. Hopefully we can pick more up. Oh, I forgot to do that. As we go. Here we go. So that's going to get me up to plus four. Like, I just, I don't know how to get to plus five Estus without killing the one Firekeeper in uh, Anne Orlando in the Golden Armor. Let's be collecting more transient curses. That, that one freaks me out. Like, again, that scream, the banshee wail, the holding, looks like a dead infant. It's just, it's a lot going on there. Oh, did I miss some curses over there? Now, if I were cheesy, I'd figure out how to take shots at him. I have the, um, what does that need? I don't have the decks. Now 
Now the Jagged Ghost Blade is good because it allows you to attack these things without using transient curses. Did I get it off? Nope, I didn't. Got another one of the wailing. Oh, shit. Nice. Okay. I genuinely hate this. <laughs> really creeps me out. Where's that coming from? Like, you know, part of it is like you climb up the ladder in the chimney and um, they come at you. Ooh. All of it. All of it, all of it, all of it. Down to one... just get the water lowered I don't mind dying so much because then I can skip all this but um yeah because you could basically just take your shot at this guy kill him but that's a shitty way to do it it's straight up murder uh let's see what we can Don't need that. I'm not cursed, I thought so. Okay. Okay, I got what I need. Let's get out of here. Oh, that crunch. <laughs> You know, let's just get it done. I've got one Estus left.
You know what? I'm almost tempted to... Well, no. Homeward boning. You can farm these guys if you don't know for like large titanite shards, but if you get really lucky, you can get a, a titanite slab. Basically, I just want the very large ember and I want to get out of here. Well, I mean, four kings, I guess, as well, but. This is where it all ends. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, that's not where I want to be. Warp. Firelink Shrine. That's... what next?
right, nice, okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm going to need those, but... Now that's sort of the same attack that the demons do in Undead Asylum. I wonder if there's any... Any connection? What I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get the very large ember, which I thought was on the third floor of some structure. And it's not this one, so. It's the other church that I was in. So I think I gotta actually take out those guys. Maybe this time I can get them one at a time. Nope. Uh, I died. Didn't I? I'm going to add one more just for good luck. I'm sure I forgot one somewhere. I gotta be careful because there's a third one.
Appreciate it giving me that uh, backstab. Here we go. Now, very large ember. Can that go to the local guy, or does that go to Anne Orlando? I don't honestly know. So now, I could, in theory, try and tackle the four kings. I got 44,000 souls, which feels like a dumb time to do it. What I feel like I should do is homeward bone and maybe see about getting some of these weapons up. While I have the cash. Uh, and see, and figure out which one it is. If it's this guy or the N Orlando. I'm hoping it's this guy just to make it easy. Except the other guy is the one who sells... material. Let's see if we can do anything. I've gotten a couple of... Oh, well. What does this need? 50 strength. Okay, here's what we're talking about. <laughs> Dragon King Great Axe. Um, 50 strength. What else... I don't know if you can buy Titanite chunks. That might be a problem. So I'm at a strength of 28. It feels like strength of 50 opens up a lot of doors. It opens up some Havel stuff. It opens up... Purchase some stuff. Buy large titanite shards. Let's not buy that many. Need one more large titanite. Let's do that. Dragon Tooth, what does this need? 40 strength. Um, hmm. Only 12 away from that. What does this need? Oh, 20 decks, that's the problem. Okay.
Okay, what do we got? We got... We can make this like 380 something. What's the flam bearish do? Nope. Get that up to almost 300, but it would do bleed. So that would make it 310 with bleed. I think what I need to do is I need to pump points into strength. How many points? Thirty-one. I think I need about twenty per level at the moment. That's going to start escalating. But so I'm definitely going to get three so far. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cash all these in. I'm not, I don't care. This one's not worth much. So this is the thing, coming up on eight hours and I'm about to start the four final, so. Five levels maybe? Six, not bad. All right. Let's just out of curiosity see. Okay, this is still <laughs> four seventy seven. This is getting up there. It's over three hundred. And this is three forty two. This is getting up there. Um seventy five and forty two is gonna be a hundred and like seventeen, two hundred and seventeen, four hundred and seventeen, so it's getting up there.
Okay, let's see if we can make a run at four kings and get lucky. Um, is there a way to get around without having to go through the buildings? Or is that the best way? I don't know. I'm so used to doing the route where I'm trying to farm that I don't recall the best way to get to This isn't the way. <laughs> I mean, it is, but Taking three on at a time is not the way to go. Okay, so a couple things. I need to put on the right ring. The Covenant of Artorius. I need to... Press shield for Matt. Nope magic. Right? Yeah. And then if I'm not worried about rolling, put on stone armor. I guess I could put on Havel's armor. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> Or maybe I don't know how long it lasts, but it can't hurt. Why does it not let me use it? This is going shitty. This is going really shitty. Is this one even close to being down? I guess.
this one close? Yeah. There we go. Nice, okay. Again, we're going strength up to 40 minimum. Um, I need to get the light spell. Maybe I go do that. What's the best? Oh, yeah, yeah. Anybody that sells chunks, because I don't want to farm. Well, that's new to me. Where all of my disappointments started by not getting the uh, the easy win. Don't have to worry about stuff. Weapon of the Black Knight Halberd. I actually don't know if this is the fastest way or if it would have been better to come through Undead Berg, but...
Oh, the, oh nice. Okay. Okay, I need to <laughs> pull back. Get behind this rock or something. Okay, who makes the first pun about splash damage? Ah, uh, okay. Nice, okay. No, 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 don't, don't go over the edge. <laughs> Let's warp here.
Yeah, I really do wonder what the... I mean, you always hear the rumors that they started running out of time. But, um... Man, this is really a sort of tale of two games in this one here. Can I put on more armor? start with um nope okay I know there's a way to gank this I've never been able to do it to the no good. I might be missing something here. I thought, um... I thought his limb was supposed to come through and land in front of me. shots in?
Nope. <laughs> Didn't time that. Nope. Gotta get out of there and heal. Woof. There we go, I think. Can I make it to the next bonfire with just two flasks? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. I thought it was dying.
So what do I get by going through these guys? Didn't do anything. Okay. Wait, am I picked up or what? What the attack is on this? Oops, I didn't do it. Nope, shit, and I just wasted that. I don't think I've got no just shy. Let me um let me burn some inventory to get one more level. Got a faster R2. The damage is not that far below. Very sloppy, but um, all right.
Oh, this is the one. Yeah, he does magic damage, not fire damage. Okay, let's see if we can get our bearings here. see what's going on. It's an interesting noise that they make. I don't know if I've ever noticed that. That's sort of no, no, no. I don't know if it's just their movement noise or if that's the noise they vocalizing or whatever they do. You know what, can I level up? Ooh, not quite. Okay, let's burn, uh... Something. Now, I assume that I got a... No? Okay. that means tops coming off there we go
Okay. Now this boss isn't tough, it's just spastic and hard to track with the camera, so we'll see how this goes. Oops. Whiff. I know I got grabbed, but... I think, do I get it? Nope. Stand up in time, maybe. There we go. Orange charred ring. Swap it in. Ah, oh, Sunbro, you're going to lose it soon. What after all? What after What after Oh, you know what? I can level up. What am I doing? Ah, lost Izalith. Okay. Like, even... If this had the same amount of time... Like, if they had the same amount of time to do this as they did up to Anor Lando. I don't know how, I don't know what this would be to make it interesting. You know, they clearly threw a ring in there just so you could run around the lava without consequence because they're just like, ugh. Well, that's my take. Just, I, I really wish I could get an idea of what this would have been. Um, but I still feel like they sort of...
I don't know. I don't know how it could have competed with. Everything that came before. It's so good. There's no more shortcuts, really. You get that Quilog one. That feels like a token gesture. You know what I mean? Like... You sort of get the Sun Bro hidden thing, but that... You gotta walk through a Titanite demon to do it. It's just like, okay. It does give you a way to save Sun Bro so you can summon him for the end, but it also, it also gives you the way to get a... Like a helmet that lights up, but um, I don't know. This is all crap. We have no desire to be here. Again, the only one I find remotely interesting on some level is Duke's Archive. I don't like the Tomb of Giants at all. So that makes Nito's that passage through. Like the, the the catacombs could, I guess, be okay. I, I don't know. It's a little whatever. Yeah, like I like this R2 way more than the R2 on the uh, Black Knight Sword. Now, what I tend to do with this fight is I don't even try, so to speak. I'll run up to it and I'll um, like these. That thing's got a real cosmic horror vibe going on that I like. But yeah, basically, I'll just run. I'll make the run three times. Got the same. Well, I guess that's the thing. It's the Witches of Lost Isla. That's why it's got the same armor as. Uh, don't need this. Let's um. Poise maybe. Dragon Crest is fire. I guess that is fire. So I'll just do this fight three times because I can't really ever get back. So I'll hit one, die, hit the next one, die, and then go for the middle, and hopefully not die, and then get it. Phase one. And it's just because, like, the floor or the massive sweeps, the pounds, like, it's just, it's all, it feels very random. So I'm kind of like, yeah, whatever. If I can get the first two, that'd be good. Like there, I mean, you could have just been knocked to your death without any recourse. Okay. It's almost easier to die. Open oh, out. Okay. Might lose those twenty one thousand, twenty two thousand souls in the um.
in the humanity. Uh, where am I? I need to pop the ring, though, because I'll die in the lava. I wonder if the poise helped a little bit. I'm also curious how much time I would have saved if I had managed to get the Black Knight Halberd. I would have basically been done upgrading a long time ago. Okay, so in theory, I've just got the last one to take care of, and um, the thing that always used to throw me was that you don't run straight at it. <laughs> the actual platform is a little bit to the right, I think, and that always used to screw me up. Oh, Fungul. Nope. <laughs> Just smacking me around. Okay. <laughs> That's why nobody likes this part. Like, again, like, they couldn't have looked at that and said, yeah, nailed it. Well, at least now I don't have to wait for the floor to cave in to get to the middle. But I'm kind of wondering if that's part of why, like, Matt, you know, he starts a lot of, like, Dark Souls 3 runs. Like, are all of these games a little bit better in the beginning than they are towards the end? Do they all sort of come apart like I know a lot of people complained about the end run of Elden Ring I guess it didn't feel quite as egregious to me in that game but maybe Dark Souls and it's been a long time since I played Dark Souls 3 maybe Dark Souls 3 falls apart at the end as well and I just don't remember I can tell you it's also, like, at least for me in this game, you know, the first four hours of this game, it's actually, like, pretty super easy. And so if you're just wanting to get, like, a, just the taste, and uh, you're not actually looking for the frustration, I kind of get that. Do I get it? Kind of, but now do I get up the hill? Because even here, you're not safe. I will say, I mean, I really like the idea of this boss. Uh, the idea that there's this, I mean, it's kind of like the end of Demon Souls, right? Sixty, that's not bad. So that's two down. Uh, 
Um, man, do I pump more into decks? I needed 20 decks, the dragon bow, but maybe I don't care. 50 starts to get me a lot of uber weapons. Uh, my vitality's still kind of low, though. I'm going for 50 strength. I still need to get the light spell, though. Okay, we're next. So what have we been doing? We're doing eight, eight and a half hours. Um, can I get to N Orlando? This is fine. Yeah, let's go for 50 strength. Although I feel all this is just setting you up for the new game plus, it's not really super useful here. Uh, do I have alluring skulls? Nope. Thought I did, but maybe not. Uh, I don't need this ring. So let's switch this to... physical attacks, because I think that's what the boars are going to do. Can I get past it? Nope. <laughs> Go for it, baby. Hoping that makes them go away so then I can get back downstairs and go to the bonfire. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Shit. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. They're going back. Oh, shit. My fear is that that one actually can't return because the first one's in the way. irritating. Um, 
there anything I can do? <laughs> Just staring at me. Not quite sure what to do here. Not that. Okay. All right, so I think what I need to do I've been going for eight and a half hours. I think I need to stop for today. I was hoping I would be closer to done. That didn't work out. Um, maybe I'll try and pick this up tomorrow and take it through to the end. Probably other things I should be doing. But, um... So here we are. We're at 38 deaths-ish. Around 40. It's not terrible, I guess. We've got two of the Lord... Vessel souls that we need. And we just need. I don't know what the magic is. I, I guess I gotta deal with those boars. Um, I. It's a little frustrating. But anyway, hopefully, thanks for uh, the folks that jumped into the chat. Um, I had a good time. I always have a good time playing this game, but I'm getting to the part where nobody really likes it, so that's why it's easier to say I gotta stop and eat dinner and take care of stuff for the evening, so. Can't just keep going endlessly as much as I was hoping to initially. I was hoping to beat it in one day to see if I could do that. And uh, started a little bit before 10 a.m. So it's not bad, but I just... Um, yeah, there's a couple things I got to do. I've got to go get the light spell so then I can do the catacombs. And then I guess I got to figure out how to beat those boars. Um, and go from there. So again, thanks to everyone. Black Lodge Trivia Night, we're usually a tabletop RPG podcast. Uh, we do everything on YouTube. That's where we get videos. But if you prefer audio versions of our actual plays or our, our discussions, just search for Black Lodge Trivia Night where we get your podcast. We should show up for audio. And uh, yeah, maybe Matt will get back into Dark Souls 3 here on Twitch. We'll see how it goes. Uh, otherwise, thanks again and uh, take care. Have a good night.